Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and this is my lovely fiance. Hi. Who also goes by the Disney Queen, who decided not to say her name, but her name is Anna with two N's, not Anna, like Disney enthusiasts might think that it is. Well, I but never had any issues until Frozen came out, and then everyone was like, is it Anna or Anna? And I was like, I never even thought this was an issue until Frozen. And to be honest, I didn't even realize that Anna was a name until somebody then saw the movie came out, and then I was like, oh my god, I am dating the sister of the Ice Queen. That's right? Just Rude sounding. That sounds horrible. Why in any case, know? in any case, welcome back to the bar, everybody, far and wide, morning and night, no matter who you are, where you are. Today at the bar, we are chatting. I don't know if the there's not enough light in this corner, but if you can't read it, chatting at the bar. X is silent as always with the dog Niquan, just herself. So I actually had a completely different plan for whatever the stream was going to be. It's cocktail hour, it's Wednesday night as such, because what we do on all Wednesdays is we drink ourselves into a coma. Kidding, we don't do that. Uh, in any case, Anna, upon returning from her trip outside of the country, with, I missed her so much, I might've mentioned it last week, but she is back now. She was informing me that the, big, the big Disney Expo, Which D23. Has, it's been delayed by a full year. It usually happens, it's biannual, so okay. it should have happened last year, but, you know, still a lot of stuff going on. So, so suffice to say, two years in the making, or I guess three years in the making, because yeah. it's supposed to be biannual, it's been two plus one, it's been three years since the last big Disney Expo, specifically D23, and it apparently happened this past weekend. I yeah. got back from doing my work stuff today, or rather I went downstairs after doing my work stuff today, and she was watching all of this like catch-up stuff on what had happened I'm over the still weekend. Still catching up. There, there was so many opinion pieces. A lot that happened. There's always a lot that happens. That's how it works. Like, literally, they have full schedules of what they've done like i think what i know the most of right now are the parks and resorts obviously i'm a very parks enthusiast i like how they work i like the imaginary on top of that then i know a little bit about the pixar and the disney movies i know of the marvel and uh star wars series that are going to come out but i don't know much about them other than that they are coming out uh oh and then there's a couple twitch there's a couple games I don't think any of them for Twitch. And they have like a new card game that they're gonna try out that looks a lot like Magic, honestly, so. I assure you, if a game exists out there, somebody, some way, some streamer is gonna figure out how to Twitch it. How to Twitch it, how to short it, how to YouTube it, live it, whatever you oh, want, yeah, well, whatever have you. Fun. Do people Twitch stream like Magic the Gathering? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, you can play tabletop card games and whatnot. Oh, okay. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Right. I mean, I think there's there are video game versions of it out there, which is probably a little more accessible to be able to like, capture and stuff like that but like no one's stopping anybody from picking up a camera plugging it into their computer kind of like what we did yeah absolutely and so in celebration of the disney expo that had happened i figured what better time to do a disney themed drink than to talk about it and chat about it with somebody who knows about it at least three to four times perhaps even up to 10 times more than i do it's kind of funny because thinking back onto like our high school days i feel like and especially going into college as well I absorbed a lot of information about Disney after the couple of trips that my in-law family, future in-law family took me upon, and I kind of holding my hand along the way. Yeah, and I would sure. spout a lot of this information out to my classmates and whatnot, who- And they were Disney like, oh my god, Cameron's the Disney movies! And I'm like, I literally just gave them all this information. It, it was really great. I got all of the credit for all of the Disney info that I would like spout off to people, and because they'd just be them. like, they're, they're just like, oh yeah, like you know so much about it, like Cameron's the Disney guy. I'm like, no, 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 I am the proxy Disney person. You didn't tell them that in the moment. So they were all like, no, 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 Cameron, you actually know it. Don't. I, I assure you, you, I at least, maybe not pre no, prefaced it, but I definitely at the end was just like, and by the way, none of this is my knowledge. It's not my opinion. It's your opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So when I asked Anna, I was like, okay, I was gonna do this. I'm gonna do this drink called Bubble Trouble, which apparently had like grapefruit juice and stuff in it, which didn't seem very Disney themed at all. So I was like, yo, what, sh what should we do? So the most Disney thing is a Dole Whip, you know. Dole. Pineapple and vanilla ice cream. So since this is a bar, Cameron's gonna try out a ton of different alcohols with the Dole Whip to see what works best. This is the plan. And I'm gonna talk. The plan is going to be, we are gonna create Dole Whip, maybe not the proprietary recipe that I'm sure Disney a, holds in high regard. from a copy, copycat recipe. Specifically, it's a copycat recipe from a site called bellyfull.net, uh, done by somebody who goes by Bellyfull, Bellyfull blog on Instagram. So this is your recipe. I don't know who you are or where you are, but I appreciate you greatly for putting this recipe out there for people like There's us to of copy off of you yeah. and therefore modify for our own needs. 
essentially this is going to be plan we're going to blend up some dole whip if, if it's fake dole whip do we call it full whip or is that dole is because dole? the brand dole. is dole I know, it's the brand of pineapple actually there were dole pineapples at the store and i just decided not to get them you didn't get like, dole pineapples no i get del monte and i also have another so what is pineapple. this a del monte whip and i also have a chiquita pineapple a chiquita whip yeah they also do bananas do bananas and truffle or pineapples and stuff it's gonna be great okay. i don't know if i need two pineapples but i got two pineapples Probably. i don't know if i need two pints of ice cream but i bought two pints of ice cream as well we also because got we cashew much. because anna does not do yes milk very well. using cashew milk because anna's a little not liking the lactose either physically or mentally and i have no problem either way so why would i complain i'm okay with cashew milk it was just a tad more expensive that's and I got two of them. And I know you specifically told me not to buy two. I did. It's okay. I'm the one making the money. I can make all the irresponsible financial decisions that we I want to. We need to have that discussion, but that is not a now conversation. In any case, so we're going to kind of do like a kind of two, two channeled thing while I am thinking about things that happen in my head, maybe just listening to the conversation. I'll be trying to make a drink or something back here. And then Anna, you're going to take it away. But update. before I do so, I'm just gonna give the recipe right off the bat for anybody who's out there. It is at the full belly. I'm oh, sorry. Are you gonna write that somewhere? Or are you net. just gonna like not? It'll be posted on the Discord and Instagram afterwards. Oh, okay. You use pineapple juice. Join the Discord. Ice cream, pineapple chunks, which I have, sugar, lemon, and salt. And as a, a we'll uh, we'll go through that slowly but surely. It'll take me a while to cut up the pineapple. Are we pineapple starting juice. there? You just gonna whack that together I'm just while gonna, I like, talk about the trading? Yeah, card. I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna cut up a pineapple. What? Do, what do you got first? Uh, let's start with the trading card game because I know the. I know of it. They didn't. I knew it existed before D23, and they started. They released the first parts of concept art for it, and I can explain Ooh. what I know of it. I get to use my Animal Kingdom themed cutting board. That's the 20th anniversary. 20th anniversary of Animal Kingdom. I'm not allowed to cut on this side no. of the board. No, I will murder him. The back of it has like little ants. You can see them coming up to the Disney thing. I thought you said there were ants on my bar. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? No, 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 like you can see, not be ants. See, like, I don't know if they can see this, but like there's little itty bitty ants going up to the Disney sign. But I was like, that's better to cut on than like this whole thing. Hand it to me the pineapple. I require the, pi yeah. the, weed. the pineapple. pineapple. That's pineapple? Yeah, Good this job. This is my pineapple. What is your pineapple? Congratulations. I mean, we have changed honestly, the world. Honestly, pineapples, you know, you can be wood if you want to. You can be a pineapple if you want to. You can be a stainless steel knife if you want That's to. That's a stainless steel knife. I mean, I... Oh, that's from Stainless Walmart. China. It's not stainless steel. It's stainless China. So, take that as you will. Okay. So, let's start with... Can you put up the picture of the concept art? Look they released honest. a total of... What the that's heck? That's just a... Oh, where's my capture? <laughs> oh, what the hey, hey. Where'd you go? Let's just I had a capture there. Oh no! What are you doing? They won't do it. Wait one second. We're gonna fix this. What scene? Does that say browser screen? Hold okay. on. We'll be back in a hot second. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Good enough. All right. I have no idea what happened there, but for some reason my browser source got completely disconnected. I could have done it in studio mode, but I didn't. Anyway, right. we're back. Tiny, <laughs> tiny. Oh, over here. You need what? Oh, what my hand do? doesn't show. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, so it looks like right yeah, there. but it goes behind. Oh, it's <laughs> right, right there. Yeah. That's where it is. Okay, so they finally released the concept art for this lovely game. Uh, it's supposed to, so it looks a lot like Magic the Gathering. And for anyone that is in that kind of trading card community, I think it's supposed to play a little bit like that, where you use resources, you tap. I think in Magic you tap mana. I don't actually know a lot about Magic. In order, in order to play cards in Magic, you have to pay a mana cost. They can be one of five different colors, and you have to tap. You have to turn the card the of uh, enough mana. And you don't necessarily have to tap for mana. There's a lot of. I'm not a Magic guy. Somebody else can explain it a lot better than I can. I don't do it for the for the. I rebelled in high school. I refused to play so that we could play D and D. That's my life. Uh -huh. But so they finally released the first six cards. And then if you were at the stand, you actually got a bonus card. And I think it was a Mickey Mouse in the Beanstalk outfit from, it was a yeah, short. Yeah, was, yeah. The, was that one of the first ones? Mm, that was an earlier yeah, one. Just, I don't just know how happened early. Later. I honestly don't remember. All right. It's oh, okay. really bad. This that's okay. No, it's fine. Um, but so they had the first six. So you can see the first six. Those were up for purchase. Um, you have Cruella de Vil, you have Elsa, you have Stitch, you have Robin Hood, Maleficent, Captain Hook. You know, the big, I don't know, they're just main. Supposedly, it sounds a lot like you're tapping resources in order to get magic for these 
characters that are able to utilize the magic to either do attacks or other things. Supposedly, it's like a Toxic. blur between Magic the Gathering and Pokemon. I don't know. I'm going to find out when it's released. And apparently, they say it's fall 2023. But my one friend is like, oh, yeah, it comes out in two months. And I'm like... I don't know because is it like is it like a tabletop game or no it's like, like video game? it's like magic the gathering it is a card game, card game. it tabletop is a card game yeah gotcha 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 yes. and so i guess that means too if it's is it distributed in the same way as like I pokemon do. or magic so, in the sense that you have to buy booster packs in order to build up like your deck and stuff um so what they gave out i don't think they gave they didn't give out how you play or anything like that they gave out basically what the experience is it's like strategy it's okay. through ravensburg who did all of the maleficent burger they did villainous right yes they did villainous i remember seeing their stands um, at the conventions we've been to yeah so the plot of the game is that they combine two different worlds there's lore so like folklore mythology and arcania which means secrets or mysteries in this kind of world arcana? you become Ar arcana 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 nice. there you go um and it's a treasury of all Disney songs, Disney stories, everything that's ever been made. So it sounds like they'll probably be keeping to expanding. And I'm a, I'm assuming they're probably going to release some old with some new characters and char and songs and everything like that. Um, you know, something that I've thought of, or that I'm making the connection of, is it's interesting. I was just talking with a friend of ours the other day who goes by Lycos Lore on the internet. Subscribe to Lycos Lore on YouTube. Please, guys. He needs it. Um, but he was saying that there's a lot of what they're doing in Magic now is they're putting a lot of different, like, IPs and stuff and intellectual properties into, like, card types and stuff. So, like, there was, like, a Dungeons & Dragons thing. I think they planned on doing, like, a Doctor Who thing where, like, these are cards that are either totally new cards or they're, like, re- like, they're cards with different art and flavor text on them to be reminiscent of or direct references to like different pieces of ip out there and so it was interesting because i was thinking just then like what if they do something disney related like with wizards of the coast who does magic talk to disney about some sort of crossover like that i would think not now because if disney clearly has their own card game that looks yeah. i'm gonna be honest I, I look at those cards and it does remind me a lot of like it looks I mean it's not super magic. It has but a lot of it's, it's, it looks it's like an, it looks like a card game. It looks yeah. kinda like a blur between, you know, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic, which all have the same kind of basic style. Um, but you differentiate as you go along. But you can see like they have flavor text on the bottom, they have their ability, they have um I don't know, some of them have like little diamonds on the side, so I'm assuming that probably has to do with like how many things you have to tap. I have no idea. It looks like you have a shield, so that's probably their health. Well, and then you I'm have like there, guess... some kind of big thing that looks like it could be their attack power. Yeah, I see like a, I see like um, I see like a shield. I'm not. Oh wait, I can tell my glasses. And I'm assuming like maybe... I see like a shield and a circle, so I'm guessing like yeah. power, like your defense and your attack. Yeah, so and I'm assuming the top one is probably their cost, and it actually kind of corresponds to how they sound like weird. they're doing. That feels right to me. Yeah, so like you know. Do they have an estimation of like when that'll come out, where it'll be available? I suppose. So currently, the first like, like these six cards are actually like fifty dollars right now. Those four cards there. These six cards are fifty dollars. They were only released at D twenty three Expo, so this is a Ugh. limited oh my edition release. Goodness. I don't know. Well, dude, this is like new. This is before. This is a full year before this game even comes out. So oh, okay. I don't know. Okay, that makes sense if they're, they're gonna also, charge a lot of money. They're like yeah. exclusive. They're exclusive first. They're D twenty three. They have the little Expo number. Like if you look at the bottom of the cards, they actually say that's what's. It's from D23. Absolutely. We have a Maybe. chat from Floral Mercy just popped in and says that haircut is super fetch. I hope you're referring to Anna's haircut mm. because it's, I like, personally, I like the, the shorter hair on Anna. But I think my haircut's pretty good, too. Yeah. I just donate my hair. It's all fine. You did actually donate your hair, didn't you? Uh, actually, it's currently in a bag over there with the hair she that I cut, like, two years ago. on donating the hair. I should really donate the hair. There I haven't gotten there. Oh, uh, that involves a lot of effort. So that's the that's the card game that I've learned more about because they had a whole stand and that I watched a whole like so they have this big expo hall and so a lot of things are going on. There's a lot of like vendors and everything, and so I'm watching this one guy going around the whole hall. Can I offer you a pineapple. Sure, I'll eat a pineapple. pineapple. But how am I supposed to talk with pineapple? I didn't mean to interrupt, please continue. I just there's a lot of available that was pineapple tasty. here. I love pineapple. It's an amazing fruit. There you go. I need to like wipe off my hand because Absolutely. it dripped on me. Absolutely. Okay. Need any water? <gasps> no. Why? What? No, no, no. We're good. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the intention was Anna, but mine is, mine is good, good too. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I know it is. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I 
forgot where I was going. Oh my god, Arcana. Wait. Card game. It's like no, lore and Arcana put on. together. Just, just shut I think that's what they were going for. Oh. Maybe. I was like, Maybe I don't going understand where this even relates, and now I'm getting it because I, I mean, can't I mean, to be words. fair, I suppose you could say that the Disney universe has lore per se. I don't know too much of it. It but. sounds like they're going to try and connect it like as if they're somehow interwoven, but who knows? This game, like, they literally gave you the most broad descriptions ever and then released six cards and you got a bonus card if you went to the stand. But like the stand, there were people up the wazoo like back and forth, like the whole lines we and everything. promo cards for games we don't own. It's not Darn even it. released. Call me for I know. No, I want this promo card. It it's looks my gorgeous. Favorite Call me for part. My favorite part about going to like board game conventions is getting promo cards for games that I like, don't you own. Have promo? Do you have whatever this convention well, like, is? No, I don't have the promo. I would get multiple things for Can Red Dragon Age just promo? so I have them. Five. You don't need it. All right. Don't need it. So that's what I like know about this card game. Um, so fall 2023, we're probably gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I don't know if Cameron will. I suppose I because will. it's it's being done by Disney that there's no need to kickstart it or anything. Like it's definitely going to happen. Oh no, it's gonna happen. I just don't know how long it will last because you know Disney does things like this all the time. Uh, the, a lot of people are like, oh, this is kind of like the Sorcerer of Magic cards. Like where you went into Magic Kingdom and you played like a mini game. And I everything. found all the ones that I had. Oh, I have them all in a deck because we actually bought what I don't know what year they did this. I think it was like the second year I was out. They made like a mini game for it so that you can take it home. And I have it. I've never played it. I have no idea how it works. And it looks super complicated based off of its wording. The Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom game that they use based off of the Sorcerers of Magic cards that you would go around Magic Kingdom yes. placing its random yes. scent sensors and stuff? Yes. <laughs> Incredible. I don't know. I well, they shut down it. the game, I think, last year? Beginning well, yeah, of this year. yeah, those sensors, they don't work anymore, do they? No, they work, work. Um, some of the, I think there were like one or two that I would always go up to and it would never read my card. Or it would take forever to read. Um, I think part of it might have been cost cutting, honestly, because it's a free game. You get five cards just for walking in and uh, scanning uh, a card. Of course, Disney's going to cut costs on things. It's not like that's anything new for them these days, at least, I guess, yeah, right? There's a, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna the chop head cuisine. We are going to be positive here, Cameron. Come Positivity. On. Yeah. I love Disney. It's World. not like, Look you know, Disney Bob Chapek walked on stage and apparently he would, like, the sound cut off during the live stream and he was, like, booed and not really applauded very well. So, you know, we're oh, at the, that the point. The CEO? Yeah, the CEO was not very supported when he <laughs> walked on to, you know, the big Disney stage. Hey, it was so bad they had to cut the audio. They cut the audio. I think they were just anticipating it. Apparently, oh, it wasn't that God. bad in person. <laughs> But it, they cut the audio, which means they either were thinking that it was going to be really bad, or oh, they heard a boom no. or something. I don't know. But that's just really, that's just funny. I was actually, I was <laughs> thinking really about funny. that. As you were watching your stuff, I yeah. was thinking to myself, like, you know, what if somebody just, like, gets up and just like, yo, you suck. Like, what are they going to do? Cut the live stream? They can. Actually, I found out there yeah. is, there is, like, I don't remember what they call it, but, like, on radio stations, they have something that's, like, the sneeze button or something like that. Or, I don't know exactly how, well, I think essentially what works is the stream is always on a delay so that if something happens, you can click a button and it, like, cuts out oh. that part of it before it even, before it even gets there. So they might have cut it, I don't even know, who knows? Mm, maybe. Okay. I don't know. So now that we've talked about card game, let's go to the three other games that I can see on previews that I literally know, I know, I've watched the trailers for each one of them. I know nothing else. <laughs> but first, can I give a quick update on the libation oh, yeah, that we're creating let's in the check background? Out, let's go back to libation. What you may have missed as you were listening to the beautiful voice of the person that I will one day marry in approximately a year, I decided to cut up an entire pineapple. Most of it is gone. There's some extras here. Oh, here's cool. a, I'll take a piece. Yeah, here's a, here's a little. Yeah, go for it. Go oh, for it. My snack. Kind of switch for a little bit. You need like a little. So, in order to create your copycat Dole Whip, though, you have to cut up a pineapple. You're supposed to use, at least according to this recipe, about two cups of it, or approximately, it says 473 milliliters. I'd say that's about half a liter of chunked pineapple, although I think that's a that's a measure of, like, liquid volume, and this is merely an approximation. I think I need at least one more chunk in there. Maybe even two. It actually says to use frozen pineapple. We don't have frozen pineapple, so I just have ice cubes and whatnot. Um, what I'm going to continue doing in the background is I'm going to be adding uh, a large scoop of ice cream. We have cashew milk ice cream because we don't try to do dairy in this household. It bothers at least one person, and Anna doesn't want that person bothered. Who is it? You can decide. We also need to add about four ounces or 120 milliliters of pineapple juice in the spirit of keeping within the laws of the Disneyland. Yes. 
It is You red. have dull pineapple. You should really pineapple show juice. off the dull. See that? Your fingers. Dole. There you go. Dull. Dole whip. Very funny. So we'll be using that. In addition, we need about two tablespoons of sugar, which I think in... Oh, I don't know what that is in milliliters. Yes, I do. I have the conversion right here. Two tablespoons in milliliters is about 30 milliliters, 29.5 for those who want to be exact, or at least as close to exact as I can get. We also need a pinch of salt and a splash of lemon juice. So all that stuff is happening in the background. Um, what's next? Okay. What do we got next? I know three video games. That's all I've actually been able to find, and I'm still catching up. I've literally been trying to catch up since I got back Sunday at midnight from Guatemala. Whole nother story. It's but, an incredible amount of time to be spending catching up on things. It takes a while. I mean, you gotta go through a lot of opinion pieces, I there's mean, like podcasts, and then like there's a lot of things where it's an overview, so I'm trying to find the smaller things before I go through the overviews because I'm like, well, I don't want to be spoiled on an opinion piece if I haven't seen the initial thing to begin with, so like I, Disney also doesn't release all of them, so like the Disney Parks um, was live streamed this year. But like, I didn't see, I had to go through multiple videos to figure out whether or not the Pixar stuff was live, or like, the Marvel stuff was live, and like, the Lucasfilm and everything like that. And then I was also going through their exhibits, seeing what was new, what did they actually tell you about, stuff like that. How long was the expo? Was it just the weekend? The, the expo is a three-day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Yep, it's a three-day weekend. Um, actually, we get benefits because I'm a Visa card holder. Benefits? Yeah. Cons with benefits? Oh my. Also, like, I've also learned that you apparently go and they like give away a lot, and I was like, wow, it's like a regular con, except Disney themed. I also still need to watch the Masquerade, because that is the costume contest. I follow one woman, oh, okay, totally off topic, but like, you know, cosplay is my thing. So I follow one lady. I love lady. to do cosplay around here. Uh, I forget what her name is, but so she does park ride costumes. So her first year she did like Big Thunder Mountain, uh, her second year was Haunted Mansion, no, 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 she had um, Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, then Haunted Mansion, and this year she was Dumbo, so like- Like it, the ride? Yeah, the Dumbo elephant? the ride. I definitely showed you it, but like she has this little like hat, which has all the little, um, whatchamacallit, um, and like the little, the little, what, what's it called? A stork, the little stork that brings the babies. I forget that was in a Dumbo. Thing in the yeah, Dumbo in Dumbo. Movie. So like they drop off that, and then you have like multiple Dumbos, and they fly. They go up and down, and they go around her in a circle, and it. Absolutely. So beautiful. Speaking of, you said these games that you were talking about were they other like board games or like video? games? No, these are video games. Let's okay. go through the, the let's go through the three video games. A quick aside, uh, in terms of board games that are also Disney related, we also have yeah. this board game yeah. here. Which we just picked up. So at Funko a Pop actually. So for Gen Con, when we went there, Funko Pop just released this new board game, uh, a Goofy movie, and they had the voices for Goofy and Max there. Obviously, I needed to get it signed because I love them. We waited in line for almost what was it, 30, 40 30, minutes? 30 minutes. 30, 40 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes. And paid a hundred dollars for them to sign. For the for the person to sign each that. signature, but it says Anna and Cameron best wishes, and it's then cool. it's like Bill Farmer and it's Goofy. Really cool. At least like, at least we didn't yeah. spend two hundred dollars on. A post uh, Pokemon card and three booster packs. <laughs> that was just a friend. That was just a friend of ours. In which I am now going to go to McDonald's and buy the kids meal specifically so I can have all these little bags of like Pokemon cards so that I can sell them because you know they are not opened yet and I can get like that pristine. Pop. I don't know. I just think it's really funny. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it is. It is it's a board like game, and bit. you can apparently pick. I, I don't know where you can pick it up. I'm sure probably. Uh, Funko Pop has it on their website. I know Amazon now has it. Um, if you go on the Disney store, they should have it, but that's a 50-50 shot because Funko Pop's been releasing a lot more board games that are Disney themed because they've been working with them. Um, they also have a Big Thunder Mountain Railroad one that came out within the last year and a couple other games. If you had to uh, liken, because we did play a small demo of it at the convention, what game is that similar to? It feels like a, it's, it's like, like a, a travel around the board type thing. With like, it's, a, it's a race game, so basically the component is to get to the end the fastest, while at the same time as collect more points. So it's like a ticket to ride, but with like a time component to it, because you're trying to beat Powerline to his concert. And if you don't beat him, you just don't get extra points, but if you do beat him, you get like a certain amount of points. However, you're now done with the game. Like, however many points you have, that's how many points you have. Yeah, I think that's one of those games that like, you need to after a certain it. condition happens, the game just ends. There yeah. are no other chances after it happens. So as soon as like Powerline gets to the, the premiere site, game's done. That's it. 
Like whether you got there or not, like you could have just not made it there. So like that's the, I don't know. We haven't played it yet. It looks super fun. It looks wacky. Like I love the whole back because it looks like the map from the actual movie in such a weirdly drawn way. It's, it's gorgeous. We're gonna go back to D23 now. We should totally play like, that. So we gotta do some board games. We could do that. That we'll would do be some fun. Board games, yeah. So D23, there are three main games that I actually paid attention to when I looked into it. So the first one is a Switch exclusive. It is Disney Illusion Island, and it's like Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald. They're all in this uh, platformer adventure. Um, Excuse the typing sounds. We're gonna get an image of this. Can you put it up? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Let me see, it's, a lot of people are saying it's kind of like Cuphead and kind of like Hollow Knight, like combined, in this, based off of their style. As far as I can tell, it's really just a platformer and it's a lot of jumping, it's a lot of like cutesy movement. You should probably put up more than just that image. That literally tells you nothing about the game. What do you mean? It says Disney Illusion Island. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. About. They it only tells have you like everything a, about the if game. If you look it up, there's like a one minute clip and that's like all they've released and that's all I can really find at this moment. But I haven't dug too deep into the video games because we don't have a Switch. Uh, Not yet. Uh, I want to switch though. The videos. Well, we should switch. probably get a Switch at this point. I keep seeing more and more promotions about how to get like Switches and Switches going on sale and whatnot. It was actually crazy. I saw on TikTok the other day. If y'all have ever heard of Cooking Mama or Gardening Mama, I don't know why, but this game was a large-ish part of my childhood because I liked it. The youngest brother liked it. We all kind of, kind of like gathered around this thing. Um, it's great. And they were saying if you like, comment, and subscribe, then you could potentially get a free Switch. So like, if you know, if I get a free Switch because I liked, comment, and followed and the. You can thank me. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. Cooking Mama made me the man I am today. <laughs> Dude, seriously though. Seriously though. I love, I just love the way, I think at the time, it, maybe that's a little insensitive looking back on it now, but I think we were all very enthused about the way that Cooking Mama would say things. And it just, it was just a, it was a heavily I've accented English. I've and for some it. reason, like that just like, that made us love the game even more about it. No, I love Tycoon Lagoon. Tycoon? No, no, no. Maybe Tycoon? it was Park Attack. Park Attack? It was one of those. Roller Coaster Tycoon. There you go, that was it. Also a classic. Yeah, basically classic. what I did was if the people got angry, you put them in their little cage so and that they were, stuck, them. they were stuck. They were stuck in the bathroom be able section. To go anywhere. Because they'd be like, where are the bathrooms? And I'm like, they're yeah, literally yeah. right in front of what you. What you have to do is you have to take the, the little queue lines and put signs so that when they enter, they can't go back the other way. So if you think about it, right, you have four intersecting paths and the signs that say do not enter are facing inward so that anybody who walks in cannot leave in any other direction That's but there's I'm four talking. inputs so it's the maximum amount of people being trapped in a single area and then just That's getting hilarious. really really pissed off and never leaving well and then you put a single bathroom there it's just like money money everybody got, has to pee everybody's got to pee and poo you know see i didn't realize i could raise the price of going to the bathroom which also when we were in guatemala one of my uh one of my classmates went to the bathroom and they're like, yeah, yeah, I paid like $3 for like, or three cube for the bathroom. I'm like, what the heck Wait, does that mean? They made you pay for the bathroom there? They made her pay for the toilet paper. Okay, yeah, I could, I, okay. I was like, okay. That's a hot commodity. I mean, it, made, it was weird that there was a lot of, yeah. There was difference. Okay, next game. Um, Honestly, I don't know what platform it's on, but Marvel's Midnight Suns, it was teased. Marvel's so, Midnight Suns? Yeah, Marvel's Midnight Suns. It looks like it just- Suns as in children? Sun, or? as in like the sun. Oh, well, sun, sun. It comes suns. Up. You can suns. see it. Yeah, um, I don't know what you're, oh, I'm like watching that. As you, oh, you are pulling it up on screen. Yeah, it's up like there, it. it's up there. No, okay. don't you worry, don't yeah. you worry, child. So it supposedly it is set to feature Captain America and Black Panther, and it has a lot of Easter eggs. I honestly don't know many of them. Um. I'm not as into Marvel. I know the Marvel. I've like seen it. That's about it. Um, I did not keep up with a lot, and they did release a lot of Marvel content at the Comic Con, uh, San Diego Comic Con. So like most of the content they gave out for Marvel-based things was either extra TV shows or stuff they've already released and like given a little bit more. Like instead of just a teaser trailer, now there's like a more there's a little bit more to the trailer or something like that. Um, but they don't have like anything on it other than like the trailer that they released and the last one i know is a mobile game and it's huh, avatar you know them blue people are coming back them blue people <laughs> what a way to describe the navi <laughs> they, Jeez. i don't know what they're called what i don't know they're giant <laughs> what's it called uh it's called avatar reckoning 
Avatar. Yeah. Wreck. So it's a little mobile ca- uh, no, mobile game. I'm pretty sure for your phone. I think that's what mobile games are. Reckoning. Yeah. Reckoning. MMO. Uh, first person shooter. Or sign up for the news. No, or don't. Yeah, but it's a mobile. It's an MMO RPG. Yeah. So like first person shooter. Um, MMO RPG first person shooter. I'm pretty sure it's mostly. So you're yeah. telling me I could find my friends online and approach them in first person point of view and be like. <laughs> In a massive multiplayer online yes, area? Yes, I think so. I, I have love no it. idea. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, but, um... So, basically, uh... Four different mobile titles. So those are the three. So we had, we had, there was those a mobile the three game. three that I know of, at least. The mobile game was Avatar Reckoning. Yes. There was the Switch exclusive, which was the Disney... The, the Disney, Disney Illusion, Illusions. Illusion yeah. thing? It's interesting Illusion that, Island. It's interesting that they bring up Illusion in another console title, because I distinctly remember Disney's Castle of Illusion... Di- oh, I'm sorry. Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, being a thing on the internet, and something that Anna and I did play together. It does not time. look... It does not have the same art no it does not have the same it is style completely at different all. it's the new mickey mouse it's like that uh it's the new cartoon version of like mickey yeah. mouse and friends and stuff and the only thing i can remember from this new set of series is goofy being like potato land potato land and being totally obsessed with potatoes for some reason which they went to idaho or something idaho it was either that or i i, I, am I told think it's that idaho. idaho has pretty good idaho. potatoes right. yeah and like they make a whole potato land and then they have to break the news to goofy afterwards because it started melting or something in the sun Pot- and I'm sorry, <laughs> potato land is melting? <laughs> Something had to do with... I don't know. It was like dying in some way. I have no idea. I don't remember. How does potato land melt? <laughs> I don't know. We could just look up... Maybe, maybe was there like a butter figure or like a wax figure? Oh, it might have been the potato... I mean, I don't know. Maybe I, they had butter. I don't, I don't remember. I, I don't recall. I don't remember. That, and then there was an untitled Captain America Black Panther game. Awesome. Yes. And that was um, the Marvel Night Sun something? That was... Or, or is this a different one? Marvel Midnight Sun or something? Biggest announcement. Ah, uh, yeah, Marvel's Midnight Sun. Gotcha, gotcha, yes. gotcha. Yes. And that was for. Do you remember what platform it's Doesn't it was for? Say. At least I don't know it. I'm going through the things I know the least right now first. So. I'm curious to see what things you have opinions on. Oh, well, that's later. I'm literally just right. having information. Okay, okay. Now this, so, is, this is good. So let's We're start the with Lucasfilm. Uh, that's the next one. So Star Wars. There is Andor, Tales of Jedi, The Bad Batch, Season 2? Season 2. I was told that was really, really good. I was by told that was who's good. got the hots for at least three of the characters. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Not me. Mandalorian 3 is being released. They actually Ooh. had, they actually had, um, his name is Mandu, right? Mando? Mando. They call him Mando. Yeah, they have Mando the and Grogu go out sure on the park's name stage, so they will officially be doing a meet and greet with Mando and little Grogu. Um, Grogu! Yeah, he like looks and everything. He's such a cute. My little boy Grogu! Here, like, see if you, I don't know if you can My little boy Grogu! But they'll have them in Disneyland officially, uh, because Garlic, uh, Galaxy's Edge there, their timeline is just... This little guy! Not, no, you want... See if you can find the D23 costume character. Oh, I'm sorry. D, d- they have him in like a little bag on his side. He blinked and everything. It was great. Oh, this guy? Oh, yeah, that's it. This that's, guy? That's the one that they announced. Ooh. Where is my full picture of him? Why does no one care about like Mandu? Nobody no. cares. We're just going to show Oh, this off is a picture. small picture. All right, this is what we get though. Hey, look at that guy. Yeah. Yeah, so he blinked, he moved, he made like sounds. That's... Yeah, so he came out actually in the parks, which will be a later one because that's what I know the most of. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it at that. That's just how it's gonna be. This um, is Star Wars. This is this is. They also thing. have Willow. I don't know anything about that. I know it's apparently like. Is Willow Star Wars related? Yeah. Well, oh. it's at least I don't know if it, it's Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm did it. Oh, I don't know much about that. I don't. I don't know. And then they're releasing another Indiana Jones. <laughs> is it with the same guy as before? Yes, Isn't Harrison Ford old? is coming back. Yes, Isn't he's pretty, pretty old. He's uh, he's officially Dude, more released to, that more he will not to? do another one after this. But you know, I'm pretty sure that's what he said after four. So, dude, more power to the guys who continue to grow older and keep on doing what they love despite the fact their body might be fighting against them. I respect that. Yeah. So this one will officially premiere uh, June 30th, 2023. I honestly, I just know that it's happening. And Harris, Harrison Ford was actually the one that announced it. So, like, you know, he's coming back and everything. That's all I know on Lucasfilm. Let's go into the Marvel uh, series and announcements. 
You got werewolf by the night. I have no idea what that is. Secret werewolf invasion. By night. Yeah. That's a Marvel thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's a film noir style. It's kind of like horror esque, the noir. more for Halloween style. Okay. I'm pretty sure it comes out. It comes out this year, so it should be October or something. I think it's early October. It's more for Halloween because it has that like horror noir style. You have Secret Invasion. Um, oh, I just realized these are coming out on Disney Plus. I should probably say that. You have Loki coming back, so you know you got the little sneak peek at sneak. What do they call the? They, what do they call the people in the Loki show? Di variants. Variants. That yeah, was it. Yeah, I was variants. like, I was thinking like Divergence. I'm like, no, that's no, not the that's, right. That's it's the not wrong the wrong series actually. Mm. Yeah. Um, so they just say that it's gonna, it's literally going to pick up exactly where they left off in season one. Um, excuse the squishing sounds of the lemon in the background. You have Echo, which will be a continuation to the Hawkeye series, um, oh. where you're reprising your role. Um, that's pretty cool. And I like, then I like a Hawkeye. deaf female protagonist will also face off against Kingpin during it. So yeah. Death. Oh, like, uh, oh, deaf as opposed to blind, like Daredevil is. Yeah. I see. Well, Daredevil Born Again will also be released. Born Again? Yes, and you will have does Matthew he, Murdock. Does he die? I don't know what it is. I didn't finish watching Daredevil. We haven't finished it. I is he no dead? Idea. You have- Does Murdock die? Oh my god. Is he reborn? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same actor that did Matthew Murdock in the first one. He's coming back, I as is the it. actor for Kingpin. So those, they will both oh, be he in is. the show. Yeah. I love- They both coming back. I love back. his actor. I think I've heard, I like I was watching something recently, I may have actually heard him voice, but I don't know for sure, and I might just be talking out of my ass, but I heard this guy's voice, and I thought of Kingpin, I was like, that guy. Yeah, so then the last one is Ironheart, and I don't remember who it is, but someone's, um, someone's basically upgrading Iron Man's armor and Ooh. using it, and I'm pretty sure it's someone that's female. But, but Iron know. Man's dead! Yeah, Iron Man is dead. Spoiler. No issues. He's dead. Very far away. Or at least the man within the suit. Oh, wait. That was just the Disney Plus stuff. <laughs> There's actually a huge... Okay. But we have let's... Disney Plus. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's all yeah. Disney Plus. So those are like Marvel Disney Plus shows. So let's go into just the MCU universe. So they've officially released uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. They are officially, um... Is this a series? We're still on... This is movies. This, this is, is movies. movies now. So this will be in theaters oh, November one, 11th, right? 2022. So this year, November. I can go see it for my birthday. Yeah, you could. Um... Uh, as far as I know, it just involves... It happens after T'Challa's death. Mm -hmm. They will officially kill him off in the universe, which I know was a hot topic when it was first announced. I mean, like, I, I gotta think, like... I mean, in my opinion on that, like, I, I saw what they did with, um, I, I'm so sorry, but I can't remember who Leia's, Leia's voice, uh, uh, Leia's actress was, but when they, like, Wars. when they, like, deep faked her into the Star Wars movies, I was like, this is a little uncanny. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I think, like, it's, it's cool to see the character, like, live on, despite the, the, like, the actor, actresses, like, like, passing, but I don't know if, like, CGI at least is at a point yet where like I can look at that and not be slightly creeped out knowing that they are not in this earth anymore. So oh. I'm actually I'm actually okay with this with this outcome. Well, a uh, lot of people were saying it, okay based off of the um the guy that did T'Challa. Do you know his name? The actor? No, but don't remember. Google it. <laughs> okay, well, a lot of people were saying that he wouldn't have wanted them to just kill off the character just because he's dead. He, they would have he would have wanted it to continue. Um, this is kind of hearsay because I don't know them. I also am not connected with actors, so who knows? I don't know. Um, it was Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, so there was a lot of argument on that and not sure how that would work out. Yeah. Uh, the next one that I know that will be released is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quan Quantum Quantumania. 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 Yeah, so they showed off a lot more on that. Um, they don't have the... Ooh, showed, they showed a new new trailer, basically. A lot of this is new trailers. You could probably find them. I'm just kind of giving you the list. You have the Marvels, which will be released in July. Uh, next year. Yeah, because we just passed July. Why would it? Yeah. Um, so it's when stars collide. Uh, the whole thing they state is when stars collide. So you have kind of uh, teaser tags at the end of Wanda. It's, it's the continuation of the teaser tags from WandaVision and Ms. Marvel series. Apparently, oh, I need to watch Miss Marvel too. Yeah, we haven't finished. We haven't actually touched that one. We're we on She-Hulk. No, we were watching She-Hulk. We skipped. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Move past things. There's a lot of there's a lot of content that comes out on Disney Plus right now, and it's 
a lot of people are feeling that burnout of Marvel because it's like there's so much and you're trying to get into it and you're trying to do everything and then now people are starting to pick and choose what do I really want to know because we haven't gotten to a big point we're in the reset phase of like what typical comic people people that are fans of comic I don't know how to say that people who like comics I yeah. Guess. yeah so like they know that this is the reset phase usually after like some big event like Endgame you have to start rebuilding the world again with these newer characters or with people that mm. you've only touched upon a little bit, or you integrate more characters, which is what they're doing. They're trying yeah, to well, I think more. essentially what they're doing is they now have to do all that. Like when you watch the later Marvel movies, you don't need all the expo uh, the exposition of like, oh, who is Iron Man or who is Captain America? Because if you wanted that sort of exposition, you have to go back to the other movies or they assume that you watched all of the major titles before then. Yeah. But now there, are, at least for these characters, there are no major titles. There's nothing that gives you exposition. Yeah. So if you just threw a character in there and just like, hey, it's me, super dude, whatever, and you don't know who I. Yeah, but I'm saving the world. You'd be like, and who the hell is this guy? I don't have any context. Uh, so they need to reintroduce all the, like those yeah. new characters. Kind of like they the built up Iron Man between like three movies, and or I think you went through two Iron Man movies before you even hit uh, the first Avengers. I don't remember what a chronicle, what, how how that uh, how the chronology Hulk, that goes. But. Iron Man, Captain America, and Iron Man Two were all, and then you had. Uh, Avengers. So, mm -hmm. like, you had those four before. I might have missed one, but I don't know. You have Thunderbolts. Uh, I know nothing about it. Thunderbolts? Yeah. Is that a new Marvel person? It's someone... Interesting. Don't know. Marvel. Thunder See, I told you, I didn't know these ones as well. I really don't know much there. And then Fantastic Four film was teased. There is no... They have not recorded yet. I don't even know if they have a full fat cast yet, honestly, but there has been no shooting yet. Uh, like, for that... Let's get on to some of the Disney. Yeah, let me change. I gotta change my note page real quick because here, I want. Here is apparently the Thunderbolts. Oh, so in I will my... pull up in just a moment. It's a little small, really but these are the picture. these are the Thunderbolts. Who are they? These are the Thunderbolts, masters of evil. I don't think. Oh, well, uh, I don't know. I found this on Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is not okay. necessarily a reliable source. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. If I may add, just yes. to interject for a moment, we do have all of the ingredients of our copycat Dole Whip all prepared and ready to blend. If you would like to imbibe some Dole You Whip. should inform them while I pull up the other things on... I'm going to switch to mostly Disney films. I'm just making sure I hit all the Lucasfilm. Sounds good. And well, Marvel. bringing things back to the bar side for just a moment, we're going to... We've finished up putting all of the ingredients for our copycat Dole Whip thanks to somebody who's not me. I've said their name before and I can't remember. Something about a full belly or something like that. You got some chunks of pineapple in there. You got some regular pineapple juice in there. You got some ice in there. You got some little bit of salt and got a bit of sugar in there and there's uh, a splash of lemon juice apparently sound warning i'm gonna turn on the blender i'm gonna keep it actually i'm gonna put the can i put the microphone away oh darn it i'm gonna no you know what it's not gonna happen um incoming loud sound warning if you're if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff i'm about to turn on the blender two one here we go I think it needs to be pushed a little bit. Pushed with what? Pushed it. I got, I got things in here. I got this thing. Okay. I just push it. Push it. I think you push put really big ice cubes in there and that's not going to work out. No, the ice cubes inevitably are floating, so I think I didn't do myself a good service here. Does it taste good? That was, oh, it tastes amazing. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, it's not as, it's not as, I guess, it doesn't have that consistency that we're looking for, but that's why I put some ice in there. Let's try it again. Loud sound. Three and two. Surprise. Oh, yeah. Getting there. Anna is right. It's my fault that I put a giant ass ice cube in there. So this is this is my bad. You could just not worry about the ice cubes. You could mm -hmm. strain them out. I could totally strain them out. Or I just put small, some smaller ice cubes in there. I could also do that too. 
Okay, let's move on to the Disney Plus series. And I'll pull, pour some Dole Whip. There's a couple. I'm gonna highlight a few of them that I know of. So like Big Shot season two. I loved Big Shot. Uh, what was, wait, what was Big Shot? Big Shot was the basketball show. Oh. With John Stamos. Stamos. I love him. I don't recall. He's a riot. He's a riot. He's just a riot. Was he's that like a Disney Channel thing? Yeah, it's or? a Disney Plus. I watched it. Oh. I remember yeah. that. So you have that. You have Stamos the Santa Clauses with Tim Allen re reprising his role in which he quits being Santa Claus. So they're finding a replacement for Santa Claus. They're they're doing more the Santa Claus movies? It's uh, I think it's a two episode series. Oh, okay, okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, these are little Well, series. the episodes are gonna be like an hour long, so it might as well probably. be another movie. It's probably gonna be two movies. Yeah. Um, there's a couple other things. Uh, another one to note is National Trevor Treasure, Edge of History. No, Nicolas Cage, I do not believe, will be a part of it. <laughs> I was just about to ask him. Is Nicolas Cage going to be in that movie? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure he won't be. I've seen a few episodes of the baseball show now. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. I love it. I cried hysterics. Um, Basketball. I think the sec- Did I just say baseball? Just baseball. <laughs> <laughs> I sport ball, you can tell. <laughs> Do you not play these board balls, Anna? But the second season will revolve around, I think they're bringing, so the school is becoming co-ed. So you have boys in the situation, you know, with teenage oh. girls. It's going to be so much fun. Wait, what was it originally? It's just a, it's just an all-girls school. Uh oh, cool. So, um, and it was called what again? Big Shot? Big Shot. Big Shot. Yeah, so you have that. I think there's like a couple other mini things. They like show a lot in the trailer. Um, that one should be coming out October 12th this year. The Santa Clauses will be November 16th this year, you know, right before we hit anywhere near Christmas time. So wait, are we only having like- Would you like a Dole Whip? No, there's so much more. Is this my- Yes, would you like some Dole Whip? Please take some. What do you think? Is it Dole Whippy? Oh, is, this, is the straw broken? Did I break the straw? It's too thick for a straw. Is it really too strict for the straw? It's supposed to be like wait, an ice cream. I don't have any spoons. I can go get a spoon. Wait, let's just try it's to- It's fine. I'm gonna try drinking it with my mouth. Yeah, that's a good plan. Oh, no, never mind. The straw is broken. You destroyed my straw. I literally have at least 100 straws back here. Would you like another one? Here, take another one. What am I supposed to do with this one? Oh, I'll take that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's all right. That's why I have okay, to- Okay, yeah, no, that's there. fine. Yeah, that tastes like Dole Whip. Really? It's a little- it's a little more cashewy. Probably because it's cashew. I don't think that I taste something that feels reminiscent of cashews to me. I, I think there's a the lot thickness. of vanilla it's cereal. The, See, um, yeah. um, yes. It's the vanilla. Yeah, okay. taste that. Definitely do. So that's the National Treasure. Mm. I think there was one other big one that I was... There's Oh, there's two other big ones that they really like advertised a ton during the D23, which was Muppets Mayhem. It is going to be the Muppets Mayhem Band. So Animal... Oh, is that the name of the Muppets band? I believe so. Mayhem? I want to say yes. Mayhem starring Monster and the other guys? I don't know the... I'm, oh, no, it's Animal, not I, Monster. I just know yeah. Animal, and, like, literally they Animal's had a mini panel. Animal. It was, like, 15 minutes long, and I'm watching this. And literally, I think the funniest part is they, got, they had all the Muppets come out. They had the three Muppets come out from the band, and Animal's there. And so they don't have chair bottoms. They had them, like, lay down so the people are underneath it, and they have their, like... They have their Muppets, and they're like behind this chair back, so it's like the funniest thing to watch because you're like, I know that exists, but now I'm seeing it. They actually have videos of like the folks back there like controlling the Muppets. No, like they're they're really. just like everyone. They walk out on stage with the Muppets in and everything, and they lay down on the ground, and then they have the Muppets up in their little chairs. <laughs> so it is the funniest thing to watch. Oh my god. Um, but my favorite part is at one point they say something, and all of a sudden animals like tag and like runs over, tags the host, and then runs away, and he's in the middle of the state. Like he's literally like the dude, the dude who's up. controlling animal yes. as well. Yes. And he's like, <laughs> they're like animal, come back, come back to the stage, and he's like, no, tag, tag, hide, and something like that. And then at one point he Not runs away from the whole tag. stage literally runs out of like this whole little thing and they're like well he's just gone now um this happened at d23 yeah it's like, in the middle of their inter so it was like a middle it was like an interview dash like it was just advertising dude that show. that reminds it me of the clip that you like, showed me of the hulk at d23 oh we'll get into that oh we're getting there we're, we'll get there oh my god that's in the parks panel oh my god we're still in like i'm in the tv section which was i think like saturday so like there's a lot in there. I'm starting to get to the contact where like I start having opinions. Uh, this sounds fun. I have no idea what this TV show is even supposed to be about, but oh, they're releasing their first album. The Muppets Mayhem Band? 
Yes, they've never released them up. Uh, I'm actually album. surprised to hear that they haven't released any music yet. Apparently they are very not. clearly a band. Yeah, well, now they are officially releasing their album. They were like, so why have you started? And, like, the one Muppet, the one in the, like, band suit looking thing, he looks at the, he, like, turns his head, he's like, money. <laughs> and that was it. And I was like, <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's great. I'm just pulling up an image. So don't okay. worry about it. You're on shopping now. I, I can can't see the, the screen. Back. There you go. I don't That's have the screen. Yeah. Um, see if you can. These guys. Yeah. Like. So they These had guys. the Flower Power Girl. They had that guy with the guitar, and then they had Animal. Oh, so they didn't have like the two side guys. Oh, on your. No, I'm on the wrong screen. You're yeah, on the wrong me. screen. Oh man, it's uh, I did it again. You're like, keep going, keep going. Let me take. All right, well that's I all you. I know for the Muppet stuff. Uh, it sounds hilarious. A lot of people are excited for it. I don't know. Maybe it'll be like old timely Muppets. Maybe not. Who knows? Well, to be fair, I don't think I have many childhood memories of like what this band of Muppets did. No, aside from just being you like, just remember like, Animal. One, two, three, four, it's really just Animal. That's all. Well, I mean, I, I definitely recognize all of the characters there, especially the dude with the hat, and I, he might be missing a tooth. I guess. Yeah, he's missing it. Or he's maybe gonna... he has a gold tooth. I think it he might has be, a gold I tooth. think it might be a gold tooth. I think he has the gold tooth. I definitely tooth. remember that guy. So the last show that I think was really bigly advertised that I actually don't know much about is American Born Chinese. It's a ba it's based off of a graphic novel. And I think that's all I remember. So it it's comes out American next year. American Born Chinese? Yes. Interesting. Yeah, but is it, is it about they will an be American doing a born Dis Chinese? Or? I have no idea. It's a Disney Plus show. Or I guess they'll be uh, every way. time it would like pop up in so many parts of like what I was watching, and I was like, I just don't know what this is. And they, I never really got an explanation for what it was. Oh, it has most of the same actors as Everything Everywhere All at Once or something. I love that movie. Yeah, so like most of the same actors are all in it. <laughs> Which was like that confused me because this one guy is going around D23 and he's like, oh, I think it's this. And I'm like, why would that be at Disney? That's not Disney. And it took him until I think the last two seconds to be like, oh no, this is some other show. And I was like, you confused me for a good like three Wait, minutes. Wait, so what was this guy doing? He was walking around oh, the convention he, this was trying the guy, to find- This was the guy walking around the whole floor and just like kind of showcasing everything. Cause you know, I'm not there in person. So I want to see it. It took him like a good hour and a half to go through the whole floor, just like walking around and not stopping much. So like, so you were watching somebody who basically had a camera on them, just walking around the entire floor, just to yeah. He had a lot up. of commentary on stupid things. Um, stupid things. Well, like what? What's he would he would just stop and like say a bunch of words about things that I wouldn't care about, and I was like, like what? I don't even know. Sports. Oh, there was like there was a Hallmarks stand, and he's like, these don't look like ornaments for Christmas trees and he's literally like standing there talking about that for like a good two minutes and I'm like I love I love the on. idea of a guy who's just just like just in the middle of like hey this is a Disney stream look at this blender this blender here is clearly not red enough to be the representative of Disney Mickey's pants mm -hmm. like what the heck the black here not the right shade to make for his ears and stuff I mean where even is the yellow the minimal amount of yellow that goes on Mickey well at one point he's going through the convention center and there's a whole thing that's um it's Disney weddings and honeymoons oh that's cute you know super expensive because that's Disney but he's like oh my god I'm not romantic oh can you imagine the cost of this thing? And like goes up to the thing and he's like, this is expensive. And then walk away. I'm like, dude, it looks nice. Calm down. Like, I get it. You don't care. You can walk into a place like many of the wedding venues that we went to, which weren't even that beautiful at all, were also very expensive, oh, yeah. but not that beautiful. But so like they had like a lot of that. And so he would literally spend, I think the funniest one was he was like, oh man, look at this photo. Look at all the flower petals. How long do you think it took them to like put all these flower petals down? Do you think they actually took time? And do you think the wind actually scattered them? And then he would talk about this one photo with flower petals. I'm like, and do you think anybody's actually answering this guy's question? No, he's not. Like he's not asking anyone. I have no idea where he was going. I don't know. He was great. He was very entertaining. But at the same time, I was like, come on, dude. I just want to see the other things. Like what in the world are you doing here? Because if I skipped 10 seconds in, in advance, I would miss like something. And I'd be like, Okay, now I just need to sit here and listen to you. That's talk like about that's things. like the worst part about something like that. You're like, oh my gosh, like I am here for all of the key points, but if I skip at all anywhere, I'm going to miss potentially yep. one of the key points. Well, that's what happens when I don't go to a convention. 
Well, I mean, like, I, I think, too, like, especially on those videos, was this, like, a YouTube video that came this out was afterwards? A, this was a YouTube video. I think it was, like, the second day that he was walking around or something. I, I think, think it was There's got to be at least one person in the comments who went through every single minute of the video, just, like, for yeah. the reference of everybody else. Like, these are the key points, and these are the times. Well, it depends on who you're, like, talking to. Like, I would find it fun to walk around the wedding pavilion because I think it looks pretty. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of photo op things. There were a lot of like different stores that I kind of wish he went inside, but like there were there were lines into almost every single store. So I understand why he didn't wait. But like there's a lot of that. There was like the archives and everything. Like they had a mini archives to represent the hundred years of wonder because Disney is turning a hundred next year. Um, so there's a lot on that. I think that's all of the Disney Plus shows I'd like to cover. Uh, so let's go to Pixar. Actually, there is one more Disney Plus show through Pixar. It's called Win or Lose. This one looks great. Can you look that one up? Win or Lose? Disney Win Plus. or Lose. Uh, Pixar. But so, like, it's a show. It's like, it's a show in which you're watching, I think it's a baseball team, I want to say. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a baseball team. And, like, you're watching the championship game through the opinion of each one of the characters as you go through the show. This one looks like it could be baseball. I'm pretty sure it's baseball. Is it baseball? Yes, yeah, so you're following each of the main characters on their own perspective of this game. I don't know if it's leading up to the game, I don't know what's in preparation or anything, but like that sounds cool because it sounds like you're gonna be missing parts and then they're gonna come in from someone else's perspective and I, you're gonna see another perspective and it's just gonna build, I think it's like eight, it's probably I'm eight looking, episodes. I'm looking at this little banner here so far yeah. and I see a very large dad looking man that's with a big coach. old stash, the coach. I think that's the coach. Are the players actually that small? Cause that would be quite the movie. I'm pretty watch. sure they're like middle school. They're not that tiny on him. I'll, I'll admit, I have never seen a middle schooler of that size. Well, that's because- I've never seen a middle not... schooler that's this big. Okay, well this is coming out next year in fall. So that's 2023, yeah. And I think that's all the TV show. Let me double check that. Nope, we're, I lied. Well, let's go to the Disney TV show. I think it's only one that I actually cared about. Oh, no, 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 there were two. Um, I can't pronounce it for the name, the, the, the life of me. It's, um, it's a collaboration with, I'm gonna get the collaboration wrong. I don't even know. It's okay, do you wanna try to spell it? Uh, I-W-A-J-U. With, there's like little dashes on top of things. It was you. It was, it was you. you. It was you. Yeah, you want to pull that up? Yeah. So, um, it's supposed to be a coming of age story dealing with a lot of like social pressures and stuff like that. I don't remember who it's supposed to be a collaboration you. with. Oh, it's the same site. But um, e yeah. Well, this is the Disney wiki. It was you. A Wii you. You might want to watch Just out for that ad. Oh, uh, ads, no, please, no. There's too many ads. <laughs> uh, I don't like this page. Get out of here. I don't want to know about MetaPortal. No, please. All right, well, um, that one was released. They gave a concept art. Honestly, I'm looking at it, and it looks very CGI, but I'm not sure if that's just me being skewed because I only have one angle, and their face looks funny in it, but um, you can probably find there. I'm sure. Do you see any of these Oh, that the... one, right? The third one in. Third one in? Yeah, that's okay. the most updated Oh, this it. looks interesting. So it looks interesting, like animation style. It doesn't look like my type of animation style, but that's just me being me. It's supposed to be a coming of age, uh, dealing of with something. diversity, stuff like that. It reminds me of something. What does it remind you of? I feel like it reminds me of a creepy doll I saw in a store once. But I also see drones in there and what looks to be a giant salamander and I'm totally into it. Also, yeah. that that dude's wearing a fanny pack across, yes, uh, across the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, but I'm totally into that. That will be released on Disney Plus um, 2023. No idea when. And I don't know. It's supposed to be a long-term series. Quick question for you. Yes. Would you like any spikes in your Dole Whip? I'm putting some Citronge Extra Fine Orange Liqueur. It Let me try like yours oranges. first. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah I need to give it a little that. spin. Oh, here's my... Actually, wait, you have a straw. Here, let's there do you, that. You do that. Um, and then let's head to Zootopia Plus, so... Oh my god, wait, 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 no, you gotta try this first before we talk about Zootopia. Oh, no, 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 we're not hitting the parks part yet. Oh, I thought we were getting the good part. That tastes pretty good. Yeah? Do you, would you like it? You may have it. Sure, we'll, we'll switch, I oh, guess. Oh, okay, okay. I'll put some more in mine. I thought you were gonna try out different, like... No, I have a way too much fun with this. I've completely changed plans. He doesn't care anymore about that. Completely alcohol. changed plans. This, That's is, not, this is not about me this time. This is this not is about, about me having fun just talking about like a ton of stuff. Yeah, so the Zootopia Plus, uh, this was released a while ago. 
we always knew it was coming. It's short form. They released another trailer. It will be out on November 9th, 2022. So, you know, right before Thanksgiving. What is all this stuff is coming out in November? Well, a lot of it was released either from D23 or Disney Plus Day, which is now September 8th, which makes no sense to me because Disney, they started. Disney Plus Day? Disney Plus Day is their, like, you know how Amazon has Prime Day? It's December 8th? No, it's September. September 8th. 8th 9-8. Plus Day. I'm going to say, what? maybe 9-8 looks like something Disney related? Wait, wait, what's the special number? What's the special Disney number? November 18th no, is no, Mickey no, no, Mouse's no. birthday. I don't know what you're oh. going with. No, like the one. Uh, oh, um, A one one A one one A one twelve A one twelve one hundred twelve A one hundred twelve. I'm pretty sure that's A twelve. Oh well, that doesn't have a nine in it anywhere. Yeah, I have no idea. A represents the number ten in hexadecimal. Ten plus one that's plus the one plus number. two. Don't just four. Don't get too 14. into. Oh my this god, this still doesn't make sense. I don't know where you're going. Oh, well. with this. Okay, let's go through the rest of Pixar. I didn't make the list. They have officially released Inside Out two. Really? Yes. Yes. Um, so this will be Riley going to Remember Bing Bong? I remember Bing Bong. <laughs> I remember Bing Bong. <laughs> Why did you do this? Bing Bong coming back? No, he's not! Are they bringing my cotton candy boy no, back? No, he died! What? He died in her memory! <laughs> Don't do this to me. But if it's all figment of my imagination, not does he really die? Let's play the gum commercial again. The gum. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, it's gonna be Riley handling puberty. Um, the voice of Jew will, jo, Jew, wow, Joy will be coming back. Um, and she said she's done a couple interviews now, and she said it has the potential to be better than the first one. So we'll Ooh. see where we go with that. I find it interesting. That's like the, um, I was gonna say like at first I thought to myself like, oh my god, they're bringing up puberty in the movie. Like that's gonna be huge. I was like, no. No, they did that in Turning Red. Because they did that in Turning Red. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, like, this is going to be big. Like, I can't wait for people to be like, no, you can't have that in movies. And we can't talk about things that happen in puberty. Well, I mean, you, you, you know, Turning it. Red came out. <laughs> so, like, what, are you going to have Literally a problem a with another movie? a metaphor for just puberty. Yes. Um, Some would say that or it's a metaphor for turning into a giant-ass red panda in the streets of yeah, the city. Yeah, okay. Now, you ha the next Borderline one Kaiju is Mother. Elio. Uh, e uh, L I O L I O Leo Lio L I O E E L I O It's a name Elio Elio I don't know Is it E L I O E L I O Elio Correct. Yeah it sounds yeah. like Elio Yeah so it's about a little boy He's 10 He has no friends Oh Yeah I know sad Um <laughs> it's so <laughs> like Elio. <laughs> I know, it's so sad. Really oh my gosh. <laughs> that was horrible. I know, it's so sad. Um, okay, but the whole point is he's Completely. 10, he has no friends, and um, you look up Pixar. Completely forgot it was a Wednesday. Dom, don't worry, me too. I'm completely lost track of time. Yeah. Well, what's the Loma location for <laughs> Elio? Where's the nearest motors in your area? That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the Pixar movie. Pixar, Elio. Yeah, Elio. that's him. So he's missing somehow aliens find him and they mistakenly take him and they're like you are the ambassador of earth and now this guy that is like the cutest that's the ambassador of no, of earth. you want to fi find the picture so find cute. a different picture because that's a gorgeous picture and that's I like that. i think that's probably him in his thought process and this like is, that's this is the art. good picture that's a good picture this find the picture. awkward photos of him find because it's so cute Elio pictures dom star dom's been high all day I was not feeling so good, so I stayed home from work, but I became okay. officially better. I became much better the longer I rested. Here, wait, look rested. for images. I'm going to show you which one I want to. Yeah. That's news. That's not it. I can't read from here. I don't have my glasses I on. Want... Why do they not have the cuter one? Elio. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, you can do that middle one right there. Here? No, next to it. Hey, this one? That one. No, do that one. one. There's like, they had three little photos that popped up. And it's like, if this really Twitter, what are you doing, Twitter? Like, we don't want to. Now it's chill. Now it's chill. Okay, Twitter's cool. We're doing Twitter? We'll just let Twitter rule. Yeah, Yeah, so like, these really kind of showcase. This is the little 11, 10-year-old that, Come on, like, Twitter. I don't know. You keep on going. There we yeah. go. It's Twitter. just like, he's, he's like, little awkward. He's cute. Um, that's basically all I know about it. So, so wait, wait. It's a kid. It's, it's about a 10-year-old who has no... Oh, wait, wait. Pixar's Elio follows an 11-year-old child, year child who can't fit in, meets aliens, and becomes the ambassador for Earth. Yes. I love this. It's cute. He looks adorable. I love this. I'm actually very excited for that because it just looks cute. This, also, this gives I'm me... pretty sure we can dress you up as him and it's gonna look great. This gives me Luca vibes. Yeah, I see that. Kid looks like Luca, I think. Or at least the, the same the same Pixar style. Yeah, well, it's Pixar. This is Pixar. Duh. No, I mean like the same way that they did Luca, this looks like this looks like that. I can see that. 
I just realized how much this creaks, and I don't know if anyone else can hear that. Oh, no, you can. Oh, you can? Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Now let's we got go a creaky bar, the... we got creaky chairs, we got creaky people. Okay, let's go with the last Pixar movie, the one that's coming out the soonest, which will be June 16th, 2023. It's called Elemental. Um, Look up Pixar. Pixar, Pixar Elemental. So the whole story, Elemental. it follows a fiery, I think her name's Amber, I want to say. Oh, I remember seeing things for this. Yeah, she looks yes. gorgeous. But so you have a fiery, that's an older style. Picture. Okay, you fine, want, I'll do that yeah, one. Yeah, do that one. That's D23 the one. That's is the one. But so like, you know, you have fire, earth, air, and water all living together in this community. And it's very picturesque. It kind of looks a style. I don't know where your picture is. I am trying my damnedest here. This, this is, is the picture. You're doing great. You're doing great. I love it. Good job. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but so there. Oh, I should be clicking that button. There you go. Got it. There you go. So the big thing about this is like they live in harmony in this world, and it's kind of a lot like it looks a lot like Zootopia. You have like different. It also styles. looks like Osmosis Jones. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> I thought the exact same thing when I saw him. Dom saying, remember when Pixar hardly ever did stuff with humans, like the Avatar? It was like Avatar with the Four Nations, the Four Elements. Dude, now like Pixar didn't do that. No, 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 no. This is reminding oh! of the element, like the four elements coming oh! together, like elemental. Yeah, the, so the, the, thing, the big thing is, it's the whole story of opposites attract. The thing is, they can never touch. Fire and water oh can't Oh my mix. gosh, just like us. We can't touch or else the world explodes. No, please! <laughs> for the sake of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I, the whole. If you can find the movie picture, it's like their hands going towards each other. I know in the in the actual like preview, like he starts to almost like drip is off and evaporate. Yeah, that one. You kind of see him start to drip off and evaporate, and she starts to like like basically cool off. An adventure of uh, Flynn and the Flame Princess. Is that Adventure it? Time? Flynn, that's the Flame it. Princess, that's and Flynn is. I mean, our bodies are like ninety percent water, so it's basically the same thing. I mean, I except instead of melting, I guess technically yeah. this isn't melting. He's already no. his water. It's all well. He would already. evaporate, and she would deflame. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would evaporate, and she would deflame. Yeah, <laughs> deflame the princess. <laughs> Stop <laughs> deflame. We didn't have alcohol. Evaporate the king. Sounds lovely. Sounds wonderful. Okay, so those are the Pixar films. I'm very excited for this one. This one's coming up now. So, so we had we had Elemental, we had yes. Leo, we had yeah. Iwa Iwaju. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't oh know no 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 it. that one's in that one's just Disney. That but one's that's just Disney. Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Okay. Did I miss any? Uh, Ele Elemental, Leo. Would they become air then? Maybe. Oh my god, that's really. I don't know. Coolness and air together they are. Wait, do you have? Like, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Can this, you be clouds? Is that considered air? The or end water? of the movie is them actually becoming one and becoming like a, a, a thunderstorm, or electricity or something. I'm, dude, this is gonna be like. Dude, this is, gonna be this is literally Doodle God, the movie where you take the individual elements and you put them together and see what happens with them. Okay. What does water plus fire do? You combine just, them together. The or, like, or like fusion, like in Steven Universe. Oh God. I just, I like the art style. I think it looks gorgeous. I think the, the pictures they showed, the trailer, it looks interesting, it looks driving, it looks cute. I'm a sucker for elemental particle effects. Oh like, yeah. Th there's water dripping from the, this, this water being's so, oh, Yeah, that's great. There's like particles coming up from- It does look like from Osmosis from Jones, Jones, which is the only thing where I'm like, Disney. Seriously though, it really does. Yeah. Was that Disney? That wasn't Disney. I don't think it was Disney. Can you look up? Uh, I don't. I yeah. don't think. No, I, I don't think that up. was Disney. Because like I know that show is so hardcore. We're gonna find that picture anyways. Or you're just gonna. I don't know where you're. No, I'm looking it up over here. I want to oh, see. Oh, you're over there. Osmosis Jones. Is it, it Disney? By, Who's it by? Uh, I'm still looking. I'm still looking. I can do some things on this computer and some things on that computer. Okay. But I mean, I just, I guess just to be clear, Osmosis Jones, Osmosis Jones and Elemental Pixar. I'm going to look up the two together it's and Warner. see. It's Warner. There we go. That was Warner Brothers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense, actually. It totally was. Oh, my God. Like, you can see, like, they kind of look. Oh, do we have them? Yes. <gasps> yes, we do have an image. Oh, literally. These guys look so similar. so like. This is literally the same thing. Except one is, I suppose, a, a cell? Yeah, he's Wait, What's a the cell. type of cells that, um, eat? Normal the bad cell. virus stuff. Uh, Something necrophytes? sites. Necroflights? Necro? No. Um. Wait, no. wait. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. What are they called? Nephro. Nephro. <laughs> Something. I didn't sites. take the biology classes. You did. 
Just because I took them doesn't mean I need them right now. I mean, I should. Let's just call them nephrons for now and pretend to create urine. urine. Yeah. Let's just pretend that that guy's a desk worker for a piss company. Uh, Just for now. Where they produce... Well, actually, well, technically, the business of the kidneys is to produce the urine, so so somebody's buying. So the kidneys, basically, when you go through, uh, it goes through your blood. It absorbs a certain amount of water. it It takes out certain amounts of, like... It waste product, and then it will put back water. It will take the water that it's taken out and put it back into your system if it believes you still need water. There can be a couple issues with that, and I don't think we should go into that because we're in the middle of Disney. And why are you distracting me with science? Side note: white collar worker is the elemental guy. Yes. Blue collar worker, Osmosis Jones. Hard working versus hardly working at all. I'm telling you, this guy we don't pushes know that. papers we and pens. The other guy, the other guy, fights the enemy. Okay. Honestly, I, I vibe well with the uh, with the the more white leaning. Okay, let's start there. getting into some things. Okay with sitting Why do here. kids kneel? Knees do this, but adults knees lose function. What? What are you talking about? Why do kid knees? Why do, do this? kids knees do this, but adult knees lose this function? I'm so confused. What are my you... knees, my knees. I don't know. What do my knees do? I don't know. Um, they what bend. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Knees bend. Let's get back on track. I feel like there's a released here. No. Um, so let's see. Hocus Pocus 2 <laughs> will officially be released September That's 30th, the, 2022. The, uh, the creepy sisters, right? Yes. With the funny hair? Yes. Uh, basically, mm-hmm. I think the mm-hmm. plot line is one girl is given, a, is given a candle, and a candle is given on their 16th birthday to symbolize that they are a witch with their coming of age powers. They light, the, they light the candle, the witches come back, you know, and they want this book or something that they were given. And then everyone dies. In an origin. I don't know. Is that, is that, did I get it? I have no idea. We're going to watch it. Okay. Because I'm going to tell Cameron to watch it, and we're going to watch it for Halloween, and that's how that works. Oh, speaking of movies to watch, I found the Disney list. Same. Where did you put it? Oh, I put it behind the speaker. Oh, good. Okay, cool. So I can start writing. We can go right back off where we were previously. Well, I'm pretty sure we left off on something that is on Disney Plus. Shaggy Dog. We watched Shaggy Dog. We watched the Shaggy Dog. It's the one afterwards. Oh, yeah, another Davy I'm, Crockett one? No, it's not Davy Crockett, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be something about Indians again. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what I need. Classic. Oh, yeah. More classic Disney. It's not great. It's not great. It's not. Okay. Uh, next one. Oh, Pull Up Strange World. Strange, strange World. Strange World. Isn't this world strange is, enough? It's basically <laughs> pulp. It's, it's inspired by Pulp Fiction. The whole trailer to it, like, I watched the trailer, and I was like, what is this? What am I watching? Because it's, it's very... I want to say it's like 1980, oh, 1990s, where it like starts off with this very old timey like horror like thing. See if you can find pictures of the trailer stuff because honestly, it looks great. Uh, which one of these look like trailer to you? This thing. See if you can find the text on it. It like it comes with that fisheye text. No, you're not gonna find it. No. But there's like no. a fisheye text and everything that comes up with it. Um, and it like starts in black and white and it like changes to this color palette and it's it's such a weird looking. Stop. It's not weird. It's like it's very. Stop looking at. I got, at I got nothing. Sorry, I'm stop getting. Di- I'm sorry, I'm getting stop distracted. distracted. I want to look at Buzz Lightyear staring at me with bedroom eyes. No, but like, it has this very. It's. I don't know. It's like Pulp Fiction. It's that style. It has the pop. It has color. It has very Jules Verne esque ideals. I want to say. Sure. Ideals. I'm not personally familiar with the work of Jules Verne, but I, I, I believe. But, like, basically, Pop the part that, like, sticks out in my mind from this whole trailer thing is... Oh, Tom. I'm a four-month sub-anniversary. Excellent! And you want a party hat? Um, do I get a Disney one? Because we're on Disney. Ooh, oh, we got Disney party hats. You can get it. It's your first year. Congratulations. Oh, that's four. We'll just pretend this is a four. Absolutely. I'm gonna put it right over top of my cowboy hat. That's so rude. That's Here we go. Uh, maybe we should put it on the inside so we cast the light. There we go. No, it's only- Happy anniversary, Dom. When's our next anniversary? We just had one, uh, didn't we? Happy anniversary to us, too. Sorry, we're late. It's weird. Soon we'll have a wedding anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. Over a year from now. All right. Um, yeah, this one just looks cool. The thing that sticks out is literally the creatures in this world. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a family adventure kind of thing where, like, <laughs> the main character and his dad and his dad meet up again after God knows how long. And strange that, creatures yeah. no like if you see those mushrooms in the background literally during what? the yeah, those things are like mushroom-esque 
and like literally have legs and start oh, walking shit. away. And I'm like, what the hell? Oh, I just noticed these like these like creatures flying yeah, in the no, background. They have like it's really a stylized choice. Yeah, this cool. will be November twenty third, twenty twenty two. It's all coming out in November. Um, all the good a lot of it out in November. Dude, I mean, Disenchanted is coming out. Uh, this one's on Disney Plus. Disenchanted is, is the sequel to Enchanted. Disenchanted. Yeah. So um, That's cool. Giselle makes a wish that everything can be like a fairy tale because it's too hard. Well, was enchanted. What? She's the stepmother, and she starts turning evil because of this wish. So it's like a fun riot. On was enchanted the one where it's the how does he know he loves yeah. you, and everybody yeah. starts singing this stuff, and the one yeah. that's just like what the hell? Yeah, my life's a Disney movie. Yeah, basically. No, it's um because like I think something goes wrong, and she's like I just wish it was like it was like Andalusia where everything is a fairy tale, and the hardest part is finding your true love, and so she wishes for that. But the thing is, she's the stepmother, so in like kind of that parody of you know ro of like fairy tales stepmother's evil mm -hmm. and so you start seeing in the trailer she starts doing things where it's like evil-esque to morgan who's um her stepdaughter so you know and like oh, half of it is like her going like no i don't believe that or yes i do and it's like this back and forth and like, like keeping the daughter at like home she locks her in a closet at one point i think and it's like the weirdest thing because then she walks away evil. laughing maniacally and you're like that's not the giselle i knew like a few years ago. I mean, isn't that out? normal parenting? Locking your kids no, in a closet and walking no, away? No, mm -mm. Harry Potter's step parents didn't. He turned no, out fine. Nope. Uh, next one is Haunted Mansion, March tenth, two thousand twenty-three. Another movie. Yes, movie. Interesting. Movie. You have Little Mermaid. Well, um, apparently, November and December are the best months for me. Oh, so it makes sense. And I think the last one I really want to touch on is perfectly normal parenting too. Let's talk. Can you look up the wish? The wish. Because this one, I'm like a 50 50. I'm like, I feel like this is going to be great. And at the same time, I feel like there's not enough information to actually tell if it's going to be great. So, you know. It's, it's by Disney. It's Disney's yes, The Wish. Uh, Disney's Wish. Oh, not the cruise ship. Look up Wish movie. The Wish. <laughs> it's called The Wish. It's called Wish. It's about, you know, how in every Disney animation, you're wishing upon a star? Um, wish. Can you look up a star with it? Wish. Because they have the concept star. art for the star, and I think that's the cutest part. So, like, right on the bottom? There. Right here? No, right here? next to it. Yeah. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah, but so the whole point is you're wishing upon a star. I'd oh. argue. Is this the star that I wish upon? Yes. Yeah, they so look like the Lumas star. from yeah. Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> but the whole Disney's point... getting ideas from everywhere. I don't know, but your star... The main character is Asha or something? Or someone? Asha? Um, yeah, and so all we know is this How is, is the spelled? origin A S H A. Asha. 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 Um, Asha. but like the main character is her, but it's about the wishing star that shows up in every Disney movie. You know, like Pinocchio, like um, I'm pretty sure Princess and the Frog was named, but like this is the oh. star that they're wishing upon. Oh, this okay. is the origin story of the star, and I'm. Is there only one star, and it's the same star that everyone wishes on every single I'm time? I'm assuming that's. And we're all going. of the other stars are just like, not this guy again. I have no idea. It's just Can like, oh, second generation. Somebody need another wish again. I guess it's my time to shine. I'm like, yeah, Gerald, you go get him. You get him every single it's time. It's coming out in fall next year. That's all I know. That's like. Is that a I joke? I just think it looks. No, it's coming out in fall next year. No, because like falling stars. Everything comes out in fall. I don't know. Is it November as well? Um, so fall starts in September and it ends. When is so winter, like? spring, summer, fall. Fall like when ends. does start? When does winter start? Like December? The winter solstice. So December. So you have anywhere yeah, between man. like September to like somewhere maybe early December ish. Maybe. That's usually fall. Um, that would be when it comes out. And when the stars fall, they will. I just end. think it looks super they will cute. Cease to exist. Yeah. So that's all my that's all my movies. That's everything I know on there. Any questions so far? So when the star falls, does it get back up again? I, I don't know. It's sleeping. I have no idea. It? Did the stars not have, I have gender no idea or if preferred it has a gender. pronouns? It's 2022, no Anna. They're not objects anymore. They have emotions. Can of worms here. <laughs> you just call me a Cameron of Worms? I wish I did. That would be funny. You wish? There's the stars. Look, you can wish upon the stars right here. Make Stop! a wish. No. But don't tell it to me or the viewers, or else it won't come true. Oh my god. I'm wishing for a pony. Okay. You want to get into the stuff I actually know now? The Disney Park stuff? Do we get to talk about <laughs> the awkward Hulk costume? Where do you, you want to start with the Hulk? Can we Let's talk about the, the Hulk. awkward Hulk costume? Okay, so they had oh been working god. on for like, I think three or four years, exoskeletons. 3D printing exoskeletons in a way that would be able to move 
the body without like putting too much weight on the performer but the performer would still be able to what are you i'm, I'm trying the to, second one in. i can't tell because oh You're there's the maps Dude, i literally can't see from here okay now it's there's two not out. contrast two out. Two? There you go. that one yeah thank you um so there's the hole <laughs> it looks it looks it looks <laughs> Shut up. It, it doesn't look good. Well, a lot of people in comments were like, if you're going to give me the Hulk, make him look better. And I was like... Oh my god. I'm going to pull up a couple of images of this. Honestly, this is... yeah. There was... Um, I saw this, and there was definitely like... Oh my god, that's a perfect thumbnail. It's impressive in the sense that it is big. He is like 10 feet tall. I mean, he is like 10 he feet tall. He stands up there and is just like... Oh, hey, what's up, Avengers Campus? Uh... What's up, Disney World? <laughs> I'm gonna go make an exit, and if there's no exit already, I'm gonna make one. And he walks away awkwardly. <laughs> it was the funniest thing to watch. Well, like, okay. What's going on here? Look, can you look up the exoskeleton for the Hulk? Good. It might be able to show up if you look this it up. Guy. They, I also don't like the mask. His eyes do not emote. His face does not emote because they just shoved it in there, which makes sense. You need a face that's big enough. You said there's an exoskeleton here somewhere? Yeah, see? Oh, close. go to images. Do you um, see it somewhere? Yeah, so the third one in. This if one you here? look on there. So that's one of the, that's the style, the oh. exoskeletons. That's what's underneath it. That's the impressive This part. is giving me like Wreck-It Ralph, but look at those yeah. fingers. But so like they oh have my. been working on these kind of things. I'm pretty sure the skeleton one, so the third one. Finger oh, guns. <laughs> yeah, but like this is what they've been working on. And the Hulk is like the conglomeration of that. Hulk will be in Avengers Campus in Disneyland for the next few weeks, I think. Maybe like a week or two. But like that's what the performers are wearing. They are wearing stuff like that, just huge bulking, creating these realer, more realistic characters. That's wild. I mean, yeah. I, I had to think too, like, it's really interesting. Looking at this particular picture here, it looks like Hulk is like a Frankenstein of a bunch of different parts put together. Yes. And I know this was probably unfinished and way before like the presentation that happened at D23, but I'm getting I believe like, this was released either last year or two years ago. I see like abominable snowman feet. Yep. I'm getting like I, I hate to bring up Bing Bong again, but cotton candy fingers. I also see like I don't know this this arm that's going on here. Whatever this arm action is here. I'm pretty sure looks that's like actually it's Hulk's a, hand. Do you remember watching Death Note and seeing the one Shinigami who was completely bone rem? Why would you do that to me? Because that's yeah. what that reminds me of. It looks like a yeah. skeleton arm. It's awesome. It's super cool looking. That seems like it would be disgustingly hot to wear. Do you yeah. think it's hotter in here than it would be like the the more like furry outfits? No, so like, like, like for example, like um uh the bear in the blue blue house. I know it was a costume. Oh, that is heavy, right? hot, and technically you have a TV screen inside of it to be able to see things. Okay. But that's also in a controlled environment. Honestly, the bear in the big blue house puppetry, they can control one arm. <clears throat> um, he can control the head and the eyebrows. So if you ever paid attention, his eyebrows would go up and down. I he had the control of that in one hand. So one hand is controlling the face and the eyes, and the other hand is actually in the arm. So if you look at the bear in the big blue house thing, it moves around with the other arm because it's actually on a string, which is really cool. Question for you, lovely. Yes. Would you like some additional double width? I'm going to put more ice in it to make it more chunky. Oh my god. Just a little bit, though. No, I think I'm good on the one. Okay, though. Well, I'm going to make this a little thicker for me as we okay so we have that let's talk about so i think two d23s ago they brought up avengers campus adventure campus officially opened its first uh, its first stage now we're on stage two they promised a big e-ticket ride <clears throat> e-tickets are like the big ride they don't do e-tickets anymore though they yeah. do not do so the original disneyland system was that you'd have an a through e ticket and so these tickets would like basically an a ticket was the least expensive it was things like the carousel or like the little i can only think of the carousel it was like really easy things but the e-ticket was like the matter from bobsled like it was really high thing it was like more would you consider space mountain one. to be like an e-ticket ride space did mountain ever, i don't think did it ever get e-tickets um or it might have that i don't actually know no okay. i don't it came out later it came out after I, I don't remember what the timeline is for like tickets i don't remember if disney world anything. actually i think disney world opened with eat with ticket books but they phased out of them pretty fast if i remember properly and i know around then that's when they phased out um, out of curiosity do we have any more like star wars later things coming out star wars yeah disney's saying they just want disney to finish star wars 
And lightsabers. More lightsabers. Um, so they didn't actually... Oh, that was mostly just the Disney Plus stuff. Yeah, it was really only... I don't know. Um, in the Disney parks, they didn't really release anything other than Mandu will officially uh, appear with Groku in Disneyland. They haven't really oh. talked about anything else. And wasn't there that other Lucas Films thing that they were doing? That would be Indiana Jones. That was Indiana Jones? No, there was another thing that was like Willow, I think it was called. That's a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. but it was yeah. also under Lucas, Lucas yes. Films, I think, right? Yeah, they, okay. for the, like, honestly, for the park, they haven't, they didn't discuss anything such as the fact that a while ago they released the information that Star Tours would be updated with new Star Wars film. They haven't talked about any of didn't that. Did they already do that, though? I mean, I guess they did yeah, this but years ago when they came out with the original. Supposedly, they're updating a lot of things trilogy. on that. Um, but basically, the big thing that I noticed with the parks is they, anything for Disneyland, they did not go beyond January or February ish for end dates. So things that were announced that we know of, they didn't discuss. Mm -hmm. So like the, I think the T, um, is it the TTA not the TTA? TTA? The people mover. The people, the people the mover people in mover. Disneyland was closed forever ago, replaced by rocket, uh, rocket what launchers or something, and then closed again oh, because Disneyland. the structure, the say, structure is not mover. built up for it. It cannot sustain it. So now you're at nice this point, dog. and good night. Night night. But like, they haven't been able to actually like fix it, basically. Interesting. Um, you're saying that there's no. So people they haven't. Anywhere? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's not open. What? A, uh, they still have the track so and everything, sad. but it's not. It's not up to code. Um, that is and so, so like people know that it's supposed to. Like Disney released that they would fix it. They haven't. They didn't talk about it at all in the parks like blog they didn't talk about a lot of things they actually brought up a lot of blue li uh blue concert blue, blue sky blue, blue sky, sky right yeah that's a term that Concepts. i just became familiar with yeah that's because i explained it to you beforehand because i knew i'd forget the word now blue sky means like they just kind of it's all talk it's in a very so, ideal phase right now if they had no budget this is exactly what it would be right yeah so it's Although like imagine if budget. you had a blank slate money didn't matter the spacing really didn't matter that much uh, sometimes it matters a little bit, but it's usually like if you could do anything, absolutely anything, the blue, the sky is the limit. That's what this is. So like they did a lot of. Uh, so like if you hit Disney sky. World, I get that. I get that. Disney World, what they released was blue sky concepts. They didn't release anything permanent. They talked about Magic Kingdom and um and Animal Kingdom and some updates for it, but they didn't really give us anything of substance, which is disappointing because it's been three years. And they're still catching up on everything for the 50th anniversary. They haven't really, they've released, they gave us the end date for Tron, which I think is March 2023. And how long has that been going on so far? Because Over like, five years. I was going to say, like, I remember being in the Disney parks, seeing the Tron stuff they're, being built. They're doing and I was testing. just like, it's still going? They're, they're doing testing now. They're doing consistent COVID testing. COVID happened, so. Well, yeah, but um, that's not really an excuse when... Universal well, was able to get multiple things out. Everything else is being developed in other parks and whatnot and within, so... But like, it's kind of, it's just for us. So for me, it's frustrating in the sense of like, Walt Disney World really got blue concept art, and that's, that's it. They didn't show me anything new. They didn't tell me anything new. The biggest things they released was that in Magic Kingdom, they want to put in villains, they want to put in Coco, and they want to put in Encanto. And I really think that was just to shove us something so that we would shut up. I personally feel like that's how they went. I think you were saying too, I mean, yeah, I, I think if I had to give my own opinion here, like, I feel like just kind of throwing a bunch of stuff, like, I mean, like, giving a lot of blue sky stuff, it's just like, here's what you could hope for, here's what you could imagine mm -hmm. for, gives us a lot of time to, like, it, it could it could be construed as a bit of a distraction if they don't actually plan on pushing things through to a level mm -hmm. at which they predict it to you. Like, I feel like if you were to tell me, expect 100, and I'm really hyped out about 100, and you give me a solid 20, I'm like, dude, what the heck are you doing? Like, I was so hyped a while ago. Then again, I will say that there's a certain, like, I guess there's a certain benefit there, right? Because hypothetically speaking, if to get a 100, they it has to take so so much time. And let's say like if, if I if I find out about it now and it's mm -hmm. two years later and I still don't have it yet, even if they gave me a 50, I'd be like, okay, they overhyped me. Here. The hype train has ended, and now we're back up to a medium level that Pull I guess up, I can be okay um, with. Themed lands for Coco and Canto and Disney villains for Magic Kingdom. Coco and Canto villains lands. Um, Disney World. Yeah, see if that will come up. Any any like images? You got anything there? Um, Do you see any parks? Yeah, so the second one in. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's like, uh, yeah, that would be the concept. 
Uh, that's the blue sky concept. So if you look oh, at that's it, that's hooks in. Yeah, there there we go. So this is very vague stuff. This so is this is like, supposed to be. This is this supposed is to be. This is a rough sketch of what it could be. Of all three of them, this is all three of them. Yeah. So if you okay. look at it, you have Coco right in the front center. Oh. You have behind it the Casita from in Kanto. Oh yeah. And I'm yeah. pretty. It's either that's it or no. I think that's the cemetery from Coco. And then in the back is the. Casita. Oh, duh. Casita yeah. from Encanto. And then if you look really far back, you see this dark land, and that's the villains. Dark land. Villains. As you can dark tell, land, like, it doesn't really tell you anything. It's really just like, here's my placeholders. Here's yeah. an idea. That's blue I'm concept not, sometimes. I'm not getting as much This is that. extremely vague. And that's where I get upset because I mean, it's like, you had at least three years to plan anything. You didn't release anything on Epcot. They didn't tell me anything about the Spaceship Earth that should have been renovated by now. They didn't tell me any updates on, like, I, let me see. I'm pretty sure the only update we got for Epcot. They also were. I remember when we were in Epcot, there was this huge pavilion that they had set up with an entire display of like what Epcot was going to become. And yeah. I don't remember and they, how many years they deleted, ago. They deleted like all of it. Basically. There's none. So you are. So they've put on hold indefinitely the Mary Poppins ride, the Cherry Chew Lane expansion that should have gone into the UK. Indefinite hold. Probably not going to happen. Honestly, at this point. Um, realistically, no, like, Coco is probably not going to go into the Mexico Pavilion, especially if they're going to put it in Magic Kingdom. So that's gone. That's a good point. Um, yeah. I guess by, by noting that, like, these, these predominant, like, these predominant, um, uh, particular IPs here, like, yeah. if they're going in one park, they're not going to put them in multiple. Um, yeah, very few exceptions to that. So, like, the other big thing is... I guess Frozen would be an exception. Communicore right? Hall is supposed to open 2023. The original concept was this three-layered, like, big building where you had, like, a forest on top so you could watch the fireworks from up high. You had, like, this pavilion center-ish place so it was where you had... Communicorn? Communicore. Communicore. Communicore was the original uh, interventions, the two sides. Communicorn? Like a... Core. Core. Like, core. that was gotcha. the core of it, so that's Communicore. So Epcot originally was supposed to be a town. It was supposed to be the town of the future, based off of Walt Disney. And it was supposed to be a town of constant innovation. Uh, innovation. So Unicorn. when Epcot first started, you had two interventions to be built upon. They made it so they had glass panels on the sides so that they could eventually expand it. And if you realize the the ceilings and everything were extremely high up so that you could put, they were originally planning to have some kind of system that would go around the top so that you would be able to travel throughout it easily. That was some of the original ideas of Epcot. Um, now they, so the original, then they started, um, they started this new transformation of Epcot. And I feel like they just kind of left it. They took out the whole, like they took out one of the interventions and they left the other one. Originally, they were going to take out both of them, or at least one and a half. Mm -hmm. So it would equal out, and then they would have like this nice little part on the other side. Um, What's up, big brother Cam Cam? What's up, young Mojo? Talk about Disney stuff and getting s slightly tipsy on Spike Dole Whip. Yeah, that's fun. I don't even know. Okay, but like... But so the, the interventions, you were saying, I remember yeah. there being two big Can buildings. you pull up um, the uh, Epcot 2020... Sorry, 2019... 2019. Um, okay, 2019? Yeah, totally. Concept art. See if you can pull that up because Epcot like most of that is not happening anymore. Concept art. Concept yeah, see if you can do that. Concept art. Yeah. So Yo. pull up the in um that's good. Concept you art. already yeah. have it. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so if you go to images. Yeah. By the way, young mojo, I wanna say the wine recommendations, it went over great. Our buddy in Indianapolis loved them. Which one of these? Uh, yeah, that uh, the first one. First one? Sure. Yeah. So, like, that's the original, like, what was going to be brought. And you see how different... Oh, no, wait, that's... Is that it? That's it, yeah. So, you see yeah. there's, like, this big, like, circle... Big circle thing in the center. Yeah. Is this, so this is the 2019 ones? This is 2019. I think that's updated. No, that's This feels like... I mean, I guess I see all these other, like, I see the circle here. I see the circle yeah, a little over there. Yeah, things. Okay. Oh, I never I'm noticed that. I'm pretty sure that's that it. Um, actually, I don't think that one's it. I think that's more updated. Okay, we'll try to find another one. I don't know. But, so, like, they took out this whole building. They took out, like, that. They have the barrages. Um, that one's... One? See what we got? No, that's just the... Celebration. The... That's the other areas. Yeah, wait. Um, This that thing one. looks... This that one was looks... the original... That was originally what they wanted. So, what we just saw was what they're doing Whoa, now, more realistically. This is what they originally wanted. See how there's no building on the side? It's supposed to be completely open. You have this big circular thing. You have like a whole fountain. This is not happening anymore. 
so and we were not addressed. Nothing was, was addressed. Blue sky. Nothing. Well, actually, this isn't even Blue Sky because they had actual development. So this has a lot more detail than what we just saw with the Magic Kingdom. Oh, so this is like so if they give you enough specificity, it's not really Blue Sky because yeah. they give you enough information to kind of expect what should be coming. How y'all felt about the Little Mermaid? Little movie? Mermaid movie. Oh. What? I'm was that really new? excited. Yeah, so they oh, released you it. The... I don't think I talked about it. Oh. I'm excited. Oh. Um, I'm excited because I feel like they're just kind of playing with something new, but keeping it Little Mermaid at the same time. Um, oh, is this like they're doing, like they're doing like a live action yeah, Little Mermaid? Yeah, like you can pull up a live action. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally should. No, I, I think it looks cute. Um, honestly, I can't say much until I actually see it at this point. Disney's kind of just playing with live actions, and I'm not sure if I completely agree with just throwing me nostalgia. Hello. And being like, yes, that's it's not mermaid. a mermaid. Whatever. Um, there was a big controversy over the fa the actress that was going to be Ariel. That is Ariel. What's wrong there's with There's still her? a... I think if there's any sort of controversy, it should be that the fins on the back of the tail there are a little more sharky than I think mermaidy. But honestly, I think there's nothing wrong. Yeah. No, I'm excited. I think should... they didn't take away the red hair. If they took no, away they red hair, I would have been like, what? Nah. Really? She looks fun. Yeah. Totally. Where was I? Uh, Epcot and the um the like the oh, not even blue sky. Yeah, they're like not really different. they're not really changing. They didn't really announce anything except for you know harmonious. You know how I came home and complained about both of the nighttime spectaculars uh, when yeah. I went for the fiftieth. Yep. They're cutting out harmonious. Some people didn't like it. They're literally replacing it. They just put it in. It's lasting for the. Wait, 50th. wait, wait. So this is not the first time that they put something in and just like this is the new thing and they're just like just kidding. We're this is actually one of the first times they've done. No, that. no, but didn't they do that with the Animal Kingdom stuff? Like kites, or there was a nighttime kite show. Kite tail or is something. still. Oh, kite tail just recently ended, but that lasted about a year. Oh, okay, okay. Um, before it was just axed randomly. Um, and I think. Interesting. Yeah, they started cutting down on stuff. I think they really just wanted entertainment. Even Rivers of Light lasted about four years before it was cut. Maybe three. Oh, interesting. Okay. So like it lasted. My perception. Even though it time wasn't so off. It wasn't well liked by a lot of people. A lot mm -hmm. of people thought it was boring. They did thought there wasn't a plot line. No, I guess harmonious. That barely lasted a year. Yeah, it barely oh, lasted man. a year before it got announced that it is being mixed at a major event. Like literally, they started the wow. parks panel with "Happily Ever After," which is the. Oh my the, god. Yeah, they That's started the it with the song. And this is the old fireworks show that happened before the 50th. It didn't come, it came back for a little while and then they switched to Wonders or something. Wonders, I think, is the newest no, one. No, that, that would be newer. They were saying that's, that was the that's song Disneyland, for like the 100 sorry. years thing. Um, what is, Enchantment. Disney Enchantment, in my own personal view, you have to watch it from a very specific spot because if you don't, you can't see half of what's going on on the castle. The fireworks, the, the yes. Disney's enchantment. It felt very cheap in the sense that, like, if I'm not in that right spot, like, I had someone standing in front of me, and I couldn't see part of what was going on in the show because someone was standing in front of that. And it was frustrating to watch because I didn't feel any emotional attachment. I felt like they were just shoving a bunch of IP at me. They were shoving a bunch of, like, just Disney shows, and they were cutting music in between. It didn't feel like transitioning. It didn't feel connected. Mm -hmm. That's also being replaced. Um, that's actually being replaced back with Happily Ever After again. I was going to try to find pictures of fireworks and stuff, but no matter what picture I find of fireworks, they still look like fireworks. Yeah, you're still going to get fireworks. Yeah. You know, that's how fireworks But like the way that you were describing, it seems like the Enchantment show was just kind of a bunch of scenes that we'd all kind of seen before, yeah. just various movies and stuff like that, or characters doing like, oh yeah, I'm in a character on a couch. Don't get me stuff. wrong. It's like, a beautiful show. It is amazing. But the fact that I saw the first, like, Happily Ever After before it, Although it wasn't as clean in some of its animation styles, although some of its techniques were not as well done on the castle as like, Enchantment had some beautiful features, but I felt like I've seen everything before. I really could have told you that like, the Frozen piece was straight from the Frozen movie. The Moana piece was straight from Moana. Like it literally, you didn't do anything new. You just put the TV show, you put the movie on the castle, which is gorgeous. But for someone that watches these things, like sometimes on repeat, sometimes over, it's not entertainment. No, I understand that. I mean, I guess it appeals to a different type of audience. Yeah. I suppose, like, if you were there and you were trying to find, you were trying to watch the show as a chance to see, like, your favorite character on the yeah. big screen, dare you say, the big castle or the big sky, then this is a great show because it seems like a lot of the characters yeah. up there had, like, a, enough screen time to be able to be appreciable. However, if you're the kind of person who goes into, like, the parks, like, all the time and you're expecting something that can hit you in that same sweet spot every single time, like, to be fair, if Aladdin hit you in the sweet spot every single time, you'd be 
you'd be watching Aladdin on repeat and on repeat. Probably. If you had the same way for Frozen, you'd be having on repeat on repeat. But like, not many people like. If you wanted to feel that way about the characters, you have the movies for that. You have the yeah. shows for that. If you, you want to feel that way about a show, need that for like the fireworks. Yeah, yeah. And then I think on top of that, the music. So the music for Wishes was very like soulful, very like happy. It had a lot of kids. It had a little, a little bit of like nostalgia ish, which is weird to think of because I think I was like seven when I first started watching it. And which, remembering which it, again? This was wishes, wishes, yeah, okay. Wishes, yeah. dreamless dream, wishes. Yes, yeah. but like um, the stars that are falling in the sky. Yeah, so like that one didn't have projections on the TV. Honestly, I think I want to say a month ago, I decided I was going to watch all three and see how I felt. I started with Happily Ever After. I was like, this is gorgeous. I love it. This is, is beautiful. Is Happily Ever After the one with the first That was the first one. That was the first castle show with really projections. That one. That one it was, was gorgeous. Really cool. It literally, the first time I watched it, Cameron was not down with me, and I started bawling my eyes out, and I was like, man, I would just wish he was here to see this. Then he was there, and I was like, oh my god, I want to watch this again. It was a really cool experience to have it shared with. Yeah, but so like that, I had these emotional responses from the first time I watched it. I saw Enchantment once, unfortunately, like in person, like unfortunately. Unfortunately, well. <laughs> unfortunately, I went to go see Enchantment. That was not in the right wording, but like I saw it once, and I was like, I sat there, and I was like, okay, that was a show. It was pretty. It was nice. It sounded good. But like it wasn't the, the level I expected from Disney because I feel like they always used at least when I used to go and like I don't mean to be like oh yeah Disney's not gonna be good it's like Disney's still Disney I just feel like mm. the quality was there it was like a miss I mean, and I don't know if it was because they didn't pay attention or if something else was going on but obviously they're trying to fix it in the sense that they're now bringing back the show that had this emotional response for a lot of people. Oh, so they're just going back to the other one. They're going back to the other one. There is a potential, especially since they did change in Enchantment, they added a whole Walt Disney section in the beginning, which they did not have originally. But that also gives hope of, like, they might switch out pieces for Happily Ever After. Keeping the music, they could change the projection, and people would probably still go bonkers. Which I really hope they do because I would love to see like Soul thrown in there randomly or like Luca or like some of the newer films or even pull in some of the older films that they didn't touch a lot in the beginning. That would be so cool and like I don't think Disney's done that yet or they haven't done it to a major scale without like a revitalization of whatever the show is. Yeah, I mean, like, what they could do is, if they really wanted to include, like, new intellectual property and new characters and stuff into the shows, like, they could just modify the show. Yeah, I mean, to be perfectly honest, yeah. I know when I watch a fireworks show, I've never, like, I really like watching things explode and stuff, and it's a really cool display, but I'm really there for the audio experience. And I at least found, when I went to go see, it was, the, 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 the I think the one with the projections, it was Happily Ever After? Happily Ever After. Happily Ever one. After hit me in that sweet spot between, like, I feel like I'm engulfed by music, I'm surrounded by the music, I'm enjoying my whole body is totally into this but also if I open up my eyes it's not just flashes of light that are constantly just trying to like like flare my corneas it's just like I can watch the screen in front of me I can watch the screens to the side I can be amazed by the visual and technical effects that are going on and it just it was cool I would say like it was it was like um so I don't know if it's somebody else's words that I'm using, but the sensory overload phrase, I think really like got that for me there. It was it was everything. It was really cool for me. Yeah. So like they're bringing that back. They actually opened the parks panel with that announcement. They had Jordan Fisher actually singing it, and then whoever was the women's voice that I forget the name of. The one who says wishes, right? No, that's wishes. That's, oh, just that's all. Happily ever after. Yeah, but they had they literally started the whole parks panel with that. And you had so many applause for that. People and were like, yes, please, bring well, it back. Well, you knew as please. soon as they started with that song, it was like, oh my god, they're going to bring it back. They're I was going to say, something. what a way to announce like the removal of one show in favor of the previous See, one by okay. entering with, why wouldn't they do the show they have now? Oh, it was that bad. <laughs> well, okay, I don't think it was bad. I think it was just not done to the best of their ability, especially considering what came right before it. You had a lot of hype, and it literally lasted not even three years and it was replaced by the 50th. So now, technically, Enchantment is becoming a 50th celebration exclusive because they're removing it. It's okay, they're, they're spinning it up a different way. They're gonna be like- Oh no, no, I think one of my uh, one of the reviews I watched said it that way. And I was like, oh my God, that's a way to look at it because some people Certainly are gonna be upset to that face. they never saw it. Yeah. So you have that going on. I don't know, I thought it was cool. But like Harmonious is actually being replaced by something completely new, 
which makes a lot of sense. Uh, when I watched it, Harmonious was the Epcot one. That was the Epcot one. They gotcha. did put the barges in the center. I don't think those are going away, and a lot of people are still salty that they're in the middle of the the lagoon where you used to see Spaceship Earth from the other side. Now you look in and you're like, why is there a big circle donut thing? And what am I doing with my life? Why wait, am I wait, looking wait. at that? This was for Harmonious. Oh yeah, look up Harmonious's set pieces. Harmonious Disney, Harmonious Donut. You d <laughs> that's not. Oh no don't no! I should include donut. I don't shouldn't include donut. Include Just donut. have harmonious. Um, and go to it's the fourth one in. Oh my god! Or yeah, it's still the fourth one in. The floor. There it yeah, is. Yeah, images. Um, images. See if you can get a daytime. So go down. Down. And like that. That's one. the donut. That's that's Look basically at that. that doesn't even show the barges on the side. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, well there's that's the donut. That's a horrible one. No, oh, I don't okay. have it on the screen. There we go. Okay. Donut. But so you have like this big thing in the center. Nothing comes through the center. It's kind of water projection, so that's a little harder to see to begin with. Oh, this is the thing that like it sprayed water down and put projections. On yeah, and the... then you had like cool. big oh, half domes of like a projection screen, and there were like different show. There were like two sides see, like, that you'd have to see in order to see everything. That's cool if you know, but, but it's only cool from one angle. Like there is a single angle that you get to look where you can see. There's the a couple. Ball. It's not that bad. Oh yeah, right, if like you the couple like right in the middle, like. Yeah, so cool like yeah that was i don't a, even think awesome that's picture possible but because like, american adventure is actually the big the big concert hall is on the other side where that would be perfectly angled for it because that's the center of the park so come it's on not you're gonna like put you do that. there's already a big ball in the park and you're gonna put a big ring somewhere within the vicinity you have to make a photo op for it nope apparently why wouldn't not. you do why that would you do that, that no. feels like a missed opportunity no but so they are canceling the show officially oof um yeah this is a lot <laughs> I would, okay, so when I watched it, it's not, it's the same thing. It's not bad. I don't think it's the same quality that they've had prior. Uh, what came before this was Illuminations, Reflections of Earth. Illuminations. Illuminati, Destruction of Earth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially when they set the Earth on fire. Classic <laughs> experience. But this came, that came out, like, I think either, I think that came out 1999, and it was going up until last, like, up until COVID. Yeah, that, that was there, like, It lasted forever. forever. And like oh. the globe actually was not functioning to its full capacity. It would not open up and light on fire some nights as consistently. Oh, and man. I think towards the end, it didn't really do it at all. Some of the screens were blacking out in the middle of this big globe of earth that you're looking at projection. Like this is old nineties like <laughs> how, style. how bad would you feel if you came from like another country to Disney World just to see like your country lit up on the globe and it's just a black screen. <laughs> Not it. it feels okay. bad. No, like it there was like like bad. there were multiple screens on it, so it would be like one little dot of screen, and mm. you'd be like, "There's a black part on this person's cheek," and they're like moving around. And you can see that this black part is not going away. Let's so call it's let's call it an there. unlit part. Unlit part? Yeah, unlit part on the screen. Yeah. Okay. Just the, they're just a yeah. void where this person yeah, was, cheek should be. Or like you would have animals, and it would just be there, and like you have elephants going like right the bodiless like, cobra, yep. or like yeah. or like the the trunkless so, elephant. Like, it was getting old. It makes sense. Things are not supposed to last forever. That was like a big thing. Yeah, Innovation think... should always be continuing and mm -hmm. moving forward. However, when I watched this, I really felt like they were just shoving IP. They were just shoving a bunch of like, here is Animal Kingdom. Or not Animal, say, blah, 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 blah. Lion King. Here's Lion King. This is your Lion King sequence. And it would all be Lion King for three minutes and then they would stop. Everything would end. It was like blackout and then it would switch to the next song. And I was like, there's no there's no transition. It's like you had multiple like three minute segments. I always like to see when they like shows like that are able to do like a really nice transition. Yeah. I, I personally like transitions. It like Especially I said, it's not a bad show. It's just not I don't think it's the higher quality that they expected. Or they were trying I know they were trying some new things with some of the animation thing, but I think focusing on one thing doesn't always go over as well. Because what if I don't care anything about Coco? Which, that's not true, but like, as an example, like, someone might be like, I really hate this one show, why am I watching this for three minutes? For, just for clarity, was like... Coco was in it. In like, this particular Epcot show? Yeah. Were they using like, other IPs and stuff too? Yeah, it was, it, uh. nothing was really... I mean, I suppose like, for example, in, in a place like Epcot, like, the idea of it was as a means to like, kind of showcase like, all the different countries. It's innovation. It was supposed to be a forever stuff, world but, fair. But I guess, I suppose, like, I guess there's a certain balance between, like, oh, I'm going to throw this particular character on the screen because they're new and I want them exposure in the parks, as opposed to being, like, like, for example, I guess, like, Coco could be, like, the representative of, I guess, like, the like the, the Mexican pavilion, I suppose? 
Uh, they did add but a they couple could, things. But they, they could add, like, other things, too, right? Like, I suppose, um, I, I don't remember, I think, um, Encanto was Colombia, but, I mean, I don't want to say close enough, but, like, I suppose close in terms of, like, um, Hispanic characters. Actually, yeah, there's been rumors that they're gonna actually add Colombia after, like, Encanto. There were rumors that they'd add Colombia. Nothing's been heard about that. Mm -hmm. But, like, so, our Epcot news is literally that the Journey of Water, which they started, like, two, um, two D20s ago, do d23s ago talking about and they're like oh yeah it's gonna finish in like a year like late 2023 and it's like they're currently painting it is it really gonna take a full year and a half for it to paint that way or are they just holding it off until just to wait until so people will come later mm -hmm. which is a theory actually out there yeah i guess you could you could hype people up and then keep them hyped up long enough to buy yourself more time for, to, for it. Yeah. Expecting that, like, oh, the longer and longer we push this thing off, like, people are still going to come to it. Yeah. We can push it off as long as we want to until the hype re-rises again. Yeah, so, like, another thing is they're planning on bringing in Figment, like, as a meet and greet character. They did that initial... So the original story of Epcot was they didn't have any Disney World characters. So they created Figment and the Dreamfinder. And so Figment and the Dreamfinder were the only walk-around characters, along with some representatives from Nations initially when like the park opened and they were the only meet and greets could i have met the prime minister of the uk in epcot no oh my gosh that would have been crazy i don't know i don't know what i would even do with that they power. were like big dolls that oh. were like oh they were they were just characters yeah oh i thought they were like actual representatives. no they were not representatives the whole <laughs> parliament making their official visit to epcot they did actually initially when uh they wanted epcot to happen they brought i think 30 representatives from different countries to Magic Kingdom, and they were like, "This, we want to do all of this." They gave them a whole tour. They gave them a free day at like um, Magic Kingdom, and then like they all left, and they were like, "Yeah, we're not supporting you." And it was, <laughs> like, come look at these they, places that I built for you. Just like, yeah, they no. wanted thirty nations actually, and they ended up with nine. And opening day, Epcot started with seven. Oof. Yeah. Um, they, they threw the ball pretty high up there. I mean, like, I, from my own limited knowledge of, like, how other rea gorgeous. other nations have reacted to just, like, Disney's influence and stuff, like, I'm not exactly surprised. So, the biggest, the negative reaction, I mean, I think you're talking Euro Disney, right? Yeah, mostly. Euro Disney was, I'm like, a really with. bad one in the sense of, like, Disney did not do their homework, they didn't pay attention, they didn't really do a lot of politics, and they put it kind of in the worst place for them. Um, Tokyo literally begged Disney for years until I think it was an at, like one of the executives was like make the most outrageous offer and do that and it was like they have to pay for everything they have to pay for the licensing Disney's not actually in charge of it but they have to have this high quality high standards and Tokyo was like yes immediately so Disney's Disney reaction. does not own Disneyland Tokyo Disney Sea in Tokyo they don't own any of it. They just license out the IP and they have certain standards and a lot of businessy contracts to make sure that it's run in a certain way. Feel, feels a little feels a little like, well, we don't want to give it to the people of Tokyo, so we're gonna Tokyo if, if we are gonna like, give it to them, we're gonna take advantage of them. According to like the internet and other people's perspectives, and honestly, from what I can tell from when I read through upkeep, it is the best taking care of parks. It is like the um, the ma the Disneyland there is like a time capsule of the 1980s. These rides, these perspectives, like everything, like they're they're gorgeous. They're kept up to date. They literally have regular maintenance almost all the time. They are constantly updated. The other thing is they have the element of waiting for other parks to go through things, such as uh, Tokyo Disneyland has not announced anything with Splash Mountain yet. Uh, what's replacing Splash Mountain in the United States is the Tiana Bayou Adventure, which they did express a little bit more on it. We got a Disney? plot line. I don't know where you are. I looked at yeah, Tokyo Disney. No, no, no. Tokyo, Disney? Oh, Tokyo cool. Disney has a lot of like, look up Tokyo Disney Sea. It's gorgeous. It's um, it's basically, it is literally, it was, so if Tokyo Disneyland is more for a child or like a younger, more innocent, naive, Disney Sea is more for that adventurous type, this older teenager. It has a, volo a volcano in the center of the park. That's kind of cool. It is gorgeous. They actually do have like a mini eruption every so often during the day. Just it's like the Rainforest Cafe in Disney Springs. Yes, except it actually looks good and it doesn't sound Annoying. like clicking. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Yeah, but like they're, they're gorgeous. But let's go to 
Tiana's Bayou Adventure. You want to look up the concept art for that? Yeah, totally. They actually have a miniature for it. Uh, the original concept art was different. Um, but, like, this is... This has been a highly controversial thing since it's been announced, obviously, because it's replacing, like, Song of the South, but a lot... Of, Song of the South. Like, Splash Mountain was Splash originally Mountain. based off of... I keep Song screwing these up. I keep doing this. Great. I keep okay. doing... It's the second one. Oh, never mind. It's not the... Fourth one? That's the fourth one. Nice. Got it. Yes. Thank you for being my second So there's your miniatures uh, right on the center. So, like, this is their newer style. What the whole point of this uh, ride is, is Tiana is now celebrating for... Like, uh, t they're trying to find a band for her restaurant or something, nice. and they're running out of time. So, Lewis has this, like, they, they're going into the bayou to find animals that can play like Lewis, the alligator. Um, I don't know much beyond that. That's, like, the plot line they gave us. And they have a lot of, like, they've given some sketches of the animatronics and, like, some of the, the furry critters and stuff like that. Um, they, instead of putting the big... Uh, Mama Odie's like house, the big boat in the center on top, which was the original concept art. They now just have a water tower off to the side. And was, now it's is just... the water power tower is significant in the movie? Uh, mm -hmm. they don't have one. It just has Tiana's uh, Tiana's place. It's probably like more like a big sign to advertise what this place is. Mm -hmm. It's gonna become more iconic as long as it's there. Stuff like that. So that's like the plot line of this newer ride. Have they like actually like closed down Splash Mountain as a means? They have not, anybody? and they did not release when it will be closed down. So get yeah. ready for that one. So how long have they we did... known about it being a thing, and how long have we been like conceptualizing it? Um, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Um, oh god, I know. A year or so. Longer. Maybe longer. Longer. I think I'm just, two I'm years just because to... literally the first year we heard nothing besides the concept art. They mm -hmm. literally just threw concept art, and they were like, "This is what's happening." And then nothing. And then it was like, oh. And then they it? had this Nor New Orleans um, celebration thing. Um, I want to say it was a convention or something was going on in the town. And they released two other pictures of concept art there. But that was it. Mm -hmm. And that was like the first two years. And that was like really all we got for that. Let me see if I can find any other information on it. No, and I remember too, like, wasn't there a huge thing here where, like, they changed out, or I guess the they hadn't yet changed out the merchandise in the shop that's right next door to Splash Mountain. There were people going in there and just, like, scalping oh. all of the merchandise. So Disney scalpers stuff. is just a huge issue in general. Ugh. I mean, I can only imagine. And Disney's starting to crack down on it, but there's also, like, that's why there's signs where you literally are not supposed to buy more than two of the same item ever, which sucks if you have three kids and they all want the same toy because you're not allowed to do that. Um, I, mean, I mean, could you not give your child 50 bucks and say, go pay the nice lady over there for I another one? I have no one? idea how they actually I mean, hopefully things. you're not using that for nefarious purposes, but, like, you know, your third child wants one, too. I don't I know. know. I was a child of three. You remember the figment buckets? Things. Yeah. Did yeah. we get one of those? Or we didn't? No, we didn't. Because oh, no, no, no. That was, it was, that was a, limited, a crazy yeah. one. That was like an eight-hour line Figment to get those, but like... Ridiculous. I don't know. Like, um, there were... I saw a bag, people holding bags, and this was a limited item where you could only buy one per person. And yet somehow so I don't know how they got, like, bags of them, but they did. So... I mean, let me let me ask you this. If yeah. somebody came up to you for your popcorn bucket and says, I don't want to wait in the line, I'll give you 50 bucks for it, would you give it to them? No. Okay. Because I love Figment. Now, was it, okay, if I didn't if, care what about if it, it. Wasn't, what if you had another limited item, wasn't Figment, wasn't even remotely Disney related, and somebody came up to you and said, I'll give you 50 bucks for that. I know you waited three and a half hours in line for it, but I want it and I'll give you double. If I waited three and a half hours, I'm keeping that thing. All right. That's a fair point. That's me. <laughs> I would, I, honestly, I would definitely consider the option. I'd be like, oh, I know, you know, but you don't, I don't know if like, I really that's my need attachments this, but... to things, speaking <laughs> yeah. Um... I think other than oh, Dino Land USA will be replaced by Moana Z and Zootopia. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I have some opinions on that one. Uh, Moana, I think makes sense. Zootopia, I don't believe makes as much sense because the only thing that really relates to Animal Kingdom is the fact that they're animals. I suppose so. I mean, as opposed to the Animal Kingdom, you have an animal metropolis, animal city, animal. The whole point of it is that community. they're supposed to work together and live with their differences. And I feel like just throwing it in Animal I, Kingdom, you've kind of subtracted a little bit from their the point of the I'm movie. I'm honestly getting the idea. Like, for example, if you can imagine, like, um, instead of it's tough to be a bug inside of the tr inside of the big tree in the center, yeah. I could imagine a show that is Zuto using Zootopia characters talking about, like, the ecosystem and how, like, 
quote unquote like apex predators and stuff all the way down to like the grubs in the ground and stuff and to learn about i guess like mostly probably gauged towards like children and stuff but like how the ecosystem works based off of the animals that reside in it i can imagine that However, really, yeah. I don't re I don't imagine that in in like reference to Dino Land. Well, actually, kind of think of it. If they replace, they're getting rid of Dino Land. If they get rid of Dino Land, is there anything related to uh, prehistoric time periods in Epcot? Or I'm sorry, Animal Kingdom anymore? There's nothing. Mm -mm. Interesting. So the other thing is like a lot of the whole argument that really brings me to like the whole I'm just gonna wait and see how they do it is pandora mm -hmm. a lot of people when it first came out they were like this has nothing to do with conservation this has nothing to do with animal kingdom why would you do this and literally it came out and it's all about conservation but it's conservation in another planet it's how you protect things when you don't know about it it's how you take care of the world that you're seeing yourself in you're living in and like the importance of that and it was done so well that i'm like this makes a lot of sense in animal kingdom so i feel like they have the potential to get there i'm just worried because it's just it's an IP, um, and I have nothing against like replacing things with IP. I think that's kind of how Disney is right now. You can sell easily mm -hmm. a Mickey Mouse doll or like a Coco doll or something like that because people know it. It's harder to push something that no one knows. Like having Mount Everest speaking. come out nowadays would probably not happen. Because I mean, they made Jungle Cruise a movie. Maybe they can make a Mount Everest movie starring the Yeti. At the top of the Mount Everest. No, I don't know. But so it really, it's kind of where we're at. What concerns me most about all these announcements is you have a Coco themed land. You have an, Ench an Encanto themed land. What happens when that's no longer popular or something's not going on? I mean, those are probably, I don't know. Right well, now they look great. Mm -hmm. But like, if you think about it, like Disney, when it originally opened, it had Adventureland. It had Frontierland, well, Walt Disney World. Had like D Adventureland, Frontierland. Um, Fantasyland, Tomorrowland, it's like these are very broad concepts. Mm -hmm. So you could put anything in them, and for the most part, it kind of fits. It makes a little bit of sense as long as you tie it back to the story. Yeah, as opposed to something being like, for example, you have the Winnie the Pooh area, or you have the um, like actually the in Stitch Disneyland area, or... they have Critter Country, which has Winnie the Pooh. It had it used to have like Country Bear Jamboree, mm -hmm. and it has Splash Mountain. But like that's still, that's still general enough for you to be able to mm -hmm. take those like those intellectual properties, those IPs, to add them to the land as opposed to yeah. the land itself being themed around and basically centered upon the IP itself. Like I, I can only imagine like fan like, if it was just fantasy land, you could probably rip out all of the guts of fantasy land and just put in more fantasy characters, yeah. and it would still be fantasy land, and it probably wouldn't have to have to as much change. However, if you took like let's uh, let's just take for lack of a better term. Coco Land, and you put Coco Land in there, and if Coco becomes less relevant as time goes on because the IP just it matures or they find something else that replaces out. it, you're gonna take it all out, completely rebrand it, and then put it back in again. Which I suppose to your point that you made about um like um uh it wasn't called hallucinations. What was the Epcot one that's going away? Illuminations, no, it's already gone. No, no, the next one it was harmonious. Harmonious. Harmonious is the big show. They're taking away that one too. They're taking it away. Yeah, yeah. It was about like, um, like over time, like it's like something. Or maybe, maybe it was Illuminations. It might have Illuminations been was, was Illuminations. the older one that lasted over almost yeah, like twenty years. Yeah, it was like I guess like there's a certain merit to like having something out there for so long that it eventually mature. Like it goes through the life cycle of it's young, it's exciting, it like kind of ages up, it changes a little bit, it learns, it matures, and then eventually yeah. dies off. Like I feel like there is a certain benefit to having things coming and going because that like i don't know i don't know there's a certain like nostalgia factor that i feel like feels good there like for example you now get to look back on illuminations you get to look back on wishes is not the one coming back right wishes uh no wishes, wishes yeah wishes is not coming back, back. that was like the last one too. before projections and i feel like there's a certain benefit there because i gotta i gotta wonder if you think about it if you are reminiscing upon a time when Disney was better, and you, let's say you have a set, you have a, a generation that comes after you, and you say, "Oh man, like I love Disney for the things that it was like when I was a kid," then those kids, as their girlfriend, could be like, "I want to know what Disney will have when I'm a kid, because I'm young and spry right now. Let's see what it's all about." I mean, I suppose like that cycle, as opposed to let's say you know the average teenager walking into Disney parks and being like, "Oh man, my grandfather was looking at this," <laughs> lame. I think there's a benefit. There. I don't. I get where you're coming from, and I think it's more of like people are very in the Disney community. There's a lot of resistance to change. So, from that perspective, and from acknowledging like there's usually a lot of intricate detail that gets put into lands, I would hate for them to just pull it all out all at once. 
I think that's like dropping the floor out from underneath people. So I'm worried that instead of making something broad enough where you can encompass stuff, like the villain's land, that's broad enough where you can easily change some things out, oh, still yeah. have a little bit that sticks around, or hide more into it that comes in later. That would be awesome. That look, that sounds amazing. Definitely However, sounds that's, cool. that's broad versus like Coco and Kanto. And I'm like, that sounds great if you can make the land a little bit more cohesive or make it so... Like, some people, after this announcement, they were like, why don't they make a fifth gate? Which I can explain why I don't think they would, fifth, personally. Fifth gate? fifth gate? Fifth theme park. Oh, a like within gate. within the Magic Kingdom? Uh, with it, no, as in Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios. Oh. As in make another... We could call it IP Land. <laughs> <laughs> IP'd in IP Land. <laughs> can you imagine? I can only imagine. Can you imagine? But, like, people were like, oh, they could make a whole nother theme park or just villains. And I'm like, well, there's a little bit of an issue. What if you don't like villains? And then someone was I like, well, well why don't you park. just make a whole theme park where it's villains versus heroes? I mean, by, by that logic, what if you don't like animals? Don't go to an animal kingdom, I guess. Actually, a lot of people hate Animal Kingdom for some odd reason, which I find really ironic. I, I love Animal Kingdom. I think it's gorgeous. I honestly never went to zoos. Well, it's definitely a different aesthetic. It's a very different land. And I feel like and I feel like there's also people who are just like, oh, animals in cages, blah, who would probably absolutely hate, dare I say despise Animal Kingdom because that, Yeah, that's a lot of them. Because of the whole zoo aspect of it. But they do take a very good like I've talked Zootopia. to a lot of the Animal Kingdom um, cast members and I've talked to like the conservation specialists there. Like I I was like really curious after a while. I was like, are you taking care of them? How are they taking care of them? What are they doing? And like, I was literally talking to one of the ones at Animal Kingdom Lodge, I think the last time I was down, and they were telling us about there was a species that's only at the lodge. There's like seven or eight of them left in the world. They have four of them. And so mm -hmm. like, they are currently on a breeding program so that they can be able to re like help hopefully get this endangered species out of the endangered species list. And also they're working with another zoo somewhere else that also has the last amount of them. So it's kind of like a constant collaboration of like, what can we do to help? Mm -hmm. uh, same thing, like they were about to send, I think, two of their giraffes up to New York City for a uh, New York Zoo or something because for of like a conservation breeding program. Yeah, for like a breeding program. So it's not like they're doing nothing. Mm -hmm. They also have a lot of like education, especially in Rafiki's Planet Watch and like a whole nine yards on that. So it's there if you want to look for it or if you want to see it. If you don't and you just want to enjoy animals, like that's also there. It's mm -hmm. kind of like there's a lot of learning, especially in Animal Kingdom, and I think that's why it's a higher up park in my ranking, because Walt was really big on education, on knowing what's going on, and like education doesn't have to be boring. And like I never was bored going to Animal Kingdom, but mm -hmm. now since I've been so used to it and I've had the fortunate ability to go multiple times in my life, I would look for it. I'd be like, oh, what am I learning? Oh, I can read all of this. Oh, I haven't, I didn't ever remember reading the sign. This is so cool. Like you small, you, you see all the small things and you start mm -hmm. to be like piecing together. Like these are bits and facts and information and you start like brewing it and you're like, oh my God, what if I want to learn more? And then you can ask people and they know. So it's a lot of like, that's why I like Animal Kingdom. It's a lot of education, but it's hidden behind mm -hmm. this wall of fun. I would say that my reason for liking certain parts, I, I would definitely say that for me, Epcot and Animal Kingdom are high up on my list of like parks in terms of the Disney mm -hmm. parks. And the reason I feel that way is because I have never necessarily been the kind of person to really like to go with the flow of things. I don't necessarily like, like if somebody, if there's gonna be a huge mass of pieces, people who are gonna like one thing, I'm not, I'm a bit of, I guess you could call me, what's the term? Like a little, a little rebellious there, but I don't want to like what everybody else likes. And so to me, the conventional idea of the theme park, what I know to be like Dorney Park or Six Flags of the area that I grew up, feels a lot like the Magic Kingdom. Or actually, actually more so similar, I used to go to Dutch Wonderland a lot when I was younger, oh. and that's very like, it's like, you know, very like, um, like, like a Pennsylvania Amish, like it's, you see like castles and yeah. fantasy and stuff. And that to me, feels a whole, felt a whole heck of a lot like Magic Kingdom the kingdom except was a kingdom as opposed to let's say like a like a dukedom or something like that but the other parks animal kingdom does not feel like a conventional theme park it doesn't the epcot does not feel like a conventional theme park i mean the parts that i remember most about epcot are not the rides the parts that i remember most about animal kingdom is also not the rides so in that way like i i hold them in high regard because they're very different than what i perceive as like a normal theme park and i kind of like things that are out yeah. of the ordinary a little abnormal yeah so like i don't know that's 
I don't know where we started on that. Oh, well, changing. We were talking, we were talking changing about like, and the like Disney community, yeah. which you know a lot things. more like than I do, because I don't I even you look at the Reddit and stuff like that. Of uh-huh. like just people who are like just really, or who are just like really resistant to the change. Some people are very passionate about certain things, and other people are more lenient. So there are Disney purists. There are like people that just go with the flow. There's the regulars, tourists. There's the bloggers. Like there's a whole variety, and it's kind of weird because you get anywhere from like there are people that yell and scream about how Bob J. Peck is doing a horrible job and like blah blah blah, and then there are other other people that are like protecting him as if that's their lifeline. It feels very polarized. It's it's um there's there's like everywhere in between, and then you have all of these extremes along with it. So mm-hmm. it's an interesting community because it's not like you're getting the same opinions anywhere you go. True you're that. getting a lot of different ones. And then um I think another big thing that I've been seeing more recently is like how do I explain this? It's I it was more recently I read a couple stories. It was like don't bash someone just because they like it still, even if you're seeing cracks or you don't like what's going on. Just telling them that they shouldn't enjoy something they like totally, because they're yeah. having a good day is like is a bad idea. But it's also the other way. Is like just because you're having a good day doesn't mean you shouldn't acknowledge that other people are having problems with it. And so that's kind of where the Disney community is because totally. some of them are bashing other people or leading them on or like throwing them around. And well, it's that it's that kind of idea of just like in general, yeah. like coexisting with people or just like mm-hmm. agreeing to disagree. Like just because like if I, I know somebody who's just like a Disney, but I mean. Spe- speaking from personal from like personal experience here, I know Anna and I, at least in our like growing up years, there were a lot of people that we knew who were like super duper duper like anti Disney for one reason or another, and it seemed like there was a bit of intolerance for people who are really really pro Disney. Mm-hmm. Which at least in the past, Anna was like super duper pro Disney, maybe a little less. I'm so having these days. a little bit of issues with some of the. You're going through a rough patch with Disney right now. Me but, and Disney have this love hate relationship right now. But I, I very like, much love it, but at the same time, I hate some of the concepts that they're doing right now. Yeah, and like to be honest, like somebody like you who used to be up on that high level of just like I will defend Disney for its honor. I felt like I had to. I think that was the issue. You felt like you had to. I had to because all they would do is throw negatives at me, and I was like, Mm -hmm. it's not all negative. Yeah, the fact that I like you're totally right. Yeah, and like to these people, like I mean, I don't know, I don't particularly remember if any of them said like it's all negative, but like it's not all negative because at the very, you know, I. Yeah, I'm not like a Disney like mm-hmm. like super fan or anything like that. But like, there are things about Disney movies that make me happy. Does Disney do things with their movies that are not necessarily cool? Like, for example, uh, in at least in one particular case, expressing support for a certain country's area just because they use filmography from there. No, I didn't say that I liked that at all. But I thought the movie was really really cool. I think that was Mulan. I think right. That was the remake of Mulan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That I was like, released right before. Yeah. yeah. I like. Don't get me wrong. Like, I. It's kind of like you can. You can like you can like it without liking all of it. Like mm-hmm. I think in in that particular case, like I liked the movie. I don't necessarily like the the circumstances of which it was filmed around, but like I liked the movie. But like somebody could like somebody's reaction to that could be just like, how dare you like it because of the filming circumstances? And I could be like, yo, I. I don't, I don't know why are you so intolerant of that just let me like what i like like let yeah. you like what you like and if you do if you're on the opposite side of the spectrum you're upset there just if you're the kind of person who really really likes disney and somebody else would be like oh i hate it then you can just be like that's just your prerogative that's totally okay you don't have to like it however for somebody who's like a super fan like I, I get it on both sides there are always going to be people who just like really really want to get their words out and like somebody is going to feel like they want to show you something that you haven't seen before and to be fair if you're the super fan it's very possible you haven't seen the super not so fan side of things and if you're the super not so fan there you probably haven't seen the super fan side of things and that's why people should talk to each other about it not put them down for it not tell you you suck because you like disney it's like you were different than me because you like disney let's talk about that instead of just me dismissing you as the scum of the earth because i could never see it from your perspective and how dare you feel that way which is stupid yeah okay so for d23 i think the only thing i really skipped was a lot of disneyland updates um i don't know as much about disneyland i know let's see they have oh not disneyland you have a new Ep- you have a new statue of Walt going into Epcot where he's sitting. I think they call him the Dreamer statue. You have another one going to Hong Kong where he's like kind of showing off, showing Mickey like the park. Um, they're kind of starting to spread like the Walt statues at this point. They have a new cruise line called Disney Treasure, which will be more like an Adventureland ship. Um, I'm trying to think of any Speaking, other. It, things. Does the Disney Treasure go to Alaska? They no. Um, 
Um, oh. So they're updating some of the routes. They actually just added a route to, I want I don't remember which ship, but it will be going to Australia, which is the first time they've sent a Disney cruise ship to Australia. Really? Yes. Is it is it this ship here that I'm about to pull up on the screen? The treasure? I mean, that's the usual cruise line ship. Oh, okay. uh, they don't have any concept. They have an Aladdin theme inside. See if you can find, oh, that one right in the middle. Right here? Uh, no, it's the top middle. Top middle here? Oh, that this is, is the inside. That would be the inside. That is the only thing they've showed off so far. You that's have cool carpet. That's um, not real, Aladdin, is it? And that's real. Then that's that's a real thing. Maybe I, I don't know. It feels yet. a little. I'm pretty sure they had it feels a, real a little picture. CGI, but they, they can do that. They can do that. Yeah. So that's there's fine. that. Um. Let's see. Disneyland. They're updating Disney. They're updating Mickey's Toontown. They have shown pictures. It looks gorgeous. I think it looks great. They're updating it for the newer Does form Toontown of Mickey. Toontown still exist. Toontown and Disneyland exist, not in oh, Magic Kingdom. Okay. Magic Kingdom's Toontown was replaced by Fantasyland. Oh. The new Fantasyland. Oh. Yeah. Um, they're bringing oh, San Francisco to Disney's California Adventure. Big Hero 6. Yeah, they're going to replace the big bridge with the San Francisco bridge. The what? The it what looks bridge? beautiful. Um, just, there there's was just a, a bridge. big bridge there. And there's yeah, there's there. a bridge with, like, I think the, it looks like they're going to replace a building that has a couple of restaurants in it with, like, this whole themed land. Mm hmm um they're oh. updating they're still updating downtown disney in um california excellent oh and they're bringing back run disney races in california What's which that? have been gone so uh, disney world has a lot of run races it's like themed ones like the oh, run, running races run oh okay races. i for some reason thought you said like the disney running races i was like what kind of ride is that i don't know why but those were canceled i think like 2017 and they're bringing them back again which is awesome. Because, Are you, like, you mean like those like running marathons that you, marathons. Like, your grandma used to do? Yeah, so like the Princess Marathon. So they hadn't been doing Disneyland? that? They haven't been doing that in California. Oh, they okay, do it in, okay. They do like four of them, I think, in Magic. I, so, like, I feel like I haven't yeah. heard that they weren't doing them. No, they're doing... Hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm just checking if there's anything else. No, yeah. Oh, and then the Frozen-themed announcements. So Disneyland Paris, you got more of a look at the Frozen-themed land. Tokyo Disneyland, you got more of a look at the Frozen Theme Land. Mm -hmm. And Shanghai Disneyland, you got more of a look at the Frozen Theme Land. There's a beautiful Elsa animatronic. They actually have the video of it released. And cool. she's corresponding with, um, I think, Japanese, like her singing in Japanese and the movements. And it looks beautiful. Oh, was that the one I, I was listening? I think I heard you listening to it on the couch where it was like, it was oh, three or four different to languages intro all singing it, the Into the Unknown. To, to intro it, they had Into the Unknown and they sang it in Mandarin. French. In French and in English? In, no, in uh, Japanese. And then they would say Into the Unknown in English like twice. Oh, okay. So okay. technically English was not. That was kind of cool. I just remember I was I was doing some work stuff and I over here on the couch, it's just like in another language. It was like the beginning of the song where it's like, yeah. Oh, it's really cool beautiful. sounding. It was oh absolutely like that was probably the other than opening with Happily Ever After, that was the most amazing thing to hear. Cause I'm watching this on a computer screen and I'm like, okay, this is cool. It kind of sucks. Cause I'm like sitting here. I'm like, it's, you have a different experience. Would have been cool to go in places that you actually see. Yeah. 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 That's expensive. Well, how much is do 23 anyways? I want to say like $300 for a three day pass, maybe more. Oh. Well, how much was Gen Con for all four days? Just trying to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that is expensive. Yeah. Right. It's like yep. double, triple the price. Yeah, that's fancy. I was trying to get a like, comparison. You're not gonna do it. Yeah, um, it's expensive, but yeah. it's every other year. It's a bicentennial. It's a buy whatever. But you have a lot of people that go and buy an annual. Buy it. Yeah. Bicentennial. Bi two hundred years. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, <laughs> every two hundred years, we're getting our Disney updates, guys. But only once every two hundred years. There is no change since then. Only generational. That sounds like, horrible. generational. Yeah. Jeez. I think that's most of the big updates. That's most of the information I have. Nice. Yeah. Do you have any questions? I mean, I don't think I have any questions of it, mostly. I mean, I think overall, I, I I know at least I get most of my Disney information from you. And so anytime I hear about Disney stuff in general, like the only uh, the only experiences that I have to work on are the experiences that I've had myself in the parks, which is relatively limited compared to you having gone like pretty much every single year. I have gone every year for, of life. For every year of your life. You have a completely different perspective on it than I do. I know I at least come from the perspective of, I feel like I've heard it from both sides. I've heard people who are like shutting Disney for what they're doing. I've heard people who are bolstering Disney in, in a positive light for what they're doing here. And I mean, like in my personal opinion, I... I, again, I completely lack perspective on this, but if you're attempting to like kind of like 
penny pinch out of the people who are going to the park and neg- like negatively affect their experience in some way as a whole for the benefit of a certain small few. I gotta. I'm kind of getting off topic here. This has nothing to do with D23. No, but that's my personal not. opinion on Disney in general. I think, other than going back on topic, I think the stuff that we saw for like D23 is actually kind of cool. It's I'm cool. Like, I'm like, I'm a really, like, I just kind of get hyped up about things. I'm very easily like excited and very easily entertained. So anytime somebody's just like, yo, look, sparkly new object that we're showing you, I'm just like, ooh, sparkly new object. Literally, yeah. you could just change the color scheme up and I'd be like, oh. I love that. I, I mean, love new colors. I think it was cool. They did like a hundred year um, archive like exhibit thing. And so they're actually bringing a hundred years into the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, which is awesome. Oh we my get God. to see that. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. No, so they so... did like a mini intro of it and I was watching it and they started like in Steamboat Willie and you know, in like 1928 uh, is where they started it. They had like a whole feature for Dick Tracy because they thought that would be good. That was going to be the new big thing in like the 90s or the 80s or something. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Yeah. Like they had a whole thing because that's what they were preparing for. And apparently it never took off nope. that way. Um, but yeah, like when we were. Uh... Yeah. But there's like a lot there. Oh, they had the Stuntronics, like the newest thing. So like the Spider-Man Stuntronic started with like a little piece of thing that looks almost like a ruler that could bend. And then you have like a long one that looks like a pogo leg. And then you have like an actual like oh my gosh, body. Like and that, then you have like an actual full that, like, body. That like Spider-Man and animatronic leg. is crazy. Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. They call them Spuntronics. Stunt- Stuntronics. Stunt. Tronics. Tronics. Spider-Man Stuntronics. That stuff is so cool looking. Yeah. And, just... and it's like actually out now. Um, there we go. No. no. Next no. one? Maybe? Mm-hmm. Hey yo! Oh yeah, like this thing like flying through the air, like this is freaking awesome. Yeah, that's a robot. Look at the progression, you might be able to see. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, like how it changed over time. Yeah, because like there's. I don't know if they'll have the pictures of them. Nah, it doesn't look like no. there's anything showing it through over time. Um, um yeah, like, they oh, have yeah. like archives of like oh, just look up Stuntronics and see if that comes. Oh, up. Oh, is that like the company? No, just Stuntronics is what they called. I'll check a look at that. Mm, you're still getting only him. Well, I mean, I guess that's the most popular one, right? Yeah, now, right? that's the, that's the finalized version. But it is really oh, no, cool. No, no, there's your pogo leg one. Oh, this one? That's a pogo leg one. That was like the third. Ver- that was like the second version they had. So, like, you see how they started to grow it. Oh yeah, yeah. It I started see that. like really tiny, and then you had this, and it's now a pogo leg. I and, like, I love the idea that for for the sake of entertainment, that it was somebody's job to animatron like to animate a stick. And mm-hmm. fling it through the air as a projectile. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, there's a whole lot of like balancing and whatnot that goes into that. And like, oh my god, like I would love. They actually have it so it should auto so correct cool. its path if something goes wrong. Um, and then the other big thing is like when it That's fell cool. and crashed. They actually made a joke about it, it was, during that the was very, panel, that was very funny, where like Spider-Man fell into the the building and like dragged it down and everything. They made a this joke about it. Whacked. Yeah. But like, and they had a whole sound clip like, oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen. And then Spider-Man <laughs> comes out anyways. Like, because they planned Wait, for like, if did... something goes wrong, they have like a couple of these. Yes, they- Wait, so you're saying they shot off Spider-Man, he crashed into a wall and then like the, the, the actor sound... walked out. Yeah, the sound was like, oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen or something. And then within another day, like the next day they had it fixed up. So it's not like they didn't anticipate for that which is i mean i mean i gotta be honest you have a piece of technology that you are flinging through the air and then hitting the ground in some way shape you could probably find it on youtube gravity and then like then like you gotta expect to have a couple more of those because if it goes wrong like you're losing that yeah but like it's that and like the uh the exoskeleton project that have been like the coolest releases that i've been following because like and that's like the hulk thing right the exoskeleton that's the hulk that's and they're looking at making bigger than life characters and now, it's cool let me ask you this in your opinion so I, I can imagine like the stuntronics as a means to potentially replace live people like live shows and whatnot. it has to do with like stunt shows so they're mm-hmm. not going to replace the actual live actors they're going to replace the dangerous stunts that are happening do you think i mean like in, in your opinion i mean i don't I, i've never seen like i've never been much from like cirque du soleil and stuff like that mm-hmm. but seeing something like this like a seeming seemingly a humanoid in the air hundreds of feet in the air like is that something that you would like pay to watch like do you think that there will be people who are just like oh my god like that's a human being this is amazing do you think it really like because i know like one of the big things i didn't know was your one of your pulls the disney is just the whole like the um, um the dispension of disbelief, the suspension of disbelief, and just mm-hmm. like being able to look at what they presented to you, you and be like, "Oh my God!" Like this is real, even just for this moment. Like, yeah. do you think that helps to accomplish that? 
That definitely does, especially since that is way too dangerous for like a normal person to be doing every single day with the potential of that kind of risk. If they could potentially like slam into a building, I don't yeah. want to see someone do that. I, mean, it's, I think but it's really cool. Like if they yeah. do slam into the building, and I'm like, oh, that's just a robot. That's fine. Versus like they go out and something slams into the building, and I'm like, oh my god, is that person okay? Like you have no idea. I mean, come to think of it, like this alarm reminds me a lot of like uh, I've never actually seen a show like this, but like people being shot out of cannons, like this this feels like that yep. a lot or i suppose they probably use like some sort of catapult or trebuchet option they actually have really like cool. there's a swing mechanism that flings it and then nice. it has like multiple bend it's points. like a rubber band gun except it shoots off a humanoid animatronic instead yeah yeah basically that's wild it looks cool there's and that I, and i was also curious too about can you think of any other characters like disney disney meet and greet characters that would be like benefited by like this whole exoskeleton thing the the one that i can think i guess the two others that i can think of is like um Oh my god, big fisty video game man. Wreck It Ralph. Wreck -It Ralph. I can think of Wreck It Ralph. Oh my god, and yeah. I can also His think of. I know Baymax fun. already has a meet and greet, but I feel like. Baymax is fine. Because he's just a bit. cool, too. I can um, imagine it like a. I know, like, people have mentioned the abominable man snowman from, like. Oh, from, from Monsters Inc. Yeah. That could be cool. Yeah. Uh, the Yeti, like, making a Yeti. Because they used to have people that, that would cool dress too. up in the bobsleds or something as, like, this Yeti creature, but it was, like. They took them out after a while. I don't remember. Well, we don't have them at home, Bob Sledge. No, anymore, that's right? in Disneyland. It's still that's in Disneyland. Disneyland. Right? It's okay. still in Disneyland. Okay, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people are like, this is horrible. It hurts my back like crazy, which is why I want to ride it because it sounds horrible. I mean, well, if it's hurting people, then it's possible we should ride it before they wind up getting rid of it as a means to like phase out and they're like, well, it's just old technology. We'll keep it in the past. Yeah, it was actually one of the original. It was, I think, one of the first roller coasters that used a downward momentum, and that was the only thing it used. As opposed to like, oh, so they just start you at the top and there's no they any like. They start you and they just drop you. Do those things ever get stuck? The bobsleds? Um, I don't I know. I suppose maybe they I don't do know for anything. one reason or another. But like, it's it's old technology and it's like it. The bobsled originally opened and it had a huge hole in it because they had like a um they had a ride that would go through the mountain. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's been a lot that, of progression. That definitely didn't last very long, right? It lasted a while. Interesting. I feel like I've definitely heard other stories of like theme parks where they had rides going through other rides, mm -hmm. and I think it was one of the one of the um, Defunctland videos that you watched one time. Oh my god, there are so many crazy things. Actually, here here's a wonderful way to. I think we're we're probably gonna end things out here a little mm -hmm. soon, but I know Anna was recently putting together a list of like a bunch of different um like a bunch of different like Disney YouTubers and stuff that she listened oh. to. I know like I I'm not the kind of I don't know if I'm the kind of person who would go through and like watch all those things. But, but like a video here once in a while. Yeah. But like do you have any per sort of recommendations for people who want to find a lot more Disney related stuff like where they would be able to go? So to find if it? you want like history, like good history, um Defunct Land does a lot of good history of things that are no longer there. They are it, they no longer exist in the parks. They were older things. Mm -hmm. I know Yesterland, uh sorry, Yester Yesterland World Entertainment. Yeah or park ride history are pretty good on like concepts that never actually came through fruition flourish for to ever came to fruition yeah, yeah. So, like, i would i would say as well i i've i've um i i've listened to the defunct land mm -hmm. stuff as well i know you've showed that to me i think oh, the defunct land stuff is really really cool i personally like it for like the old like defunct rides and stuff and mm -hmm. be able to see like you know how those rides existed and potentially how they functioned and how they failed as well i mean it's pretty cool he spends a lot of time on these things. These are like full on cool. beautiful things. And I think the best one was one of the more recent things, which is a- Shapeland. <laughs> it is a documentary- Shapeland. On fast, uh, on ride lines and how fast pass, fast pass plus, and like just regular standby worked and how lines worked. And it's like, I've watched it probably three times, which makes me sound like a little crazy, but at the same time- Well, I mean, once was with me. So that's, that's cool. That was my first time. Yeah, but it, it's a very beautiful, like, it's really well done. He knows what's going on. He has some humor in there, so it's not like you're just sitting there. And then you're just sitting here like, wow, you spent a lot of time, effort, and research into this. He's still working on the end, so he does things in seasons. So the first season is kind of like a little more, you're starting to piece things together. Like, it's a lot of, like, random rides, things that, like, are just gone. Then the second season is very, like, it starts with the beginning. It almost starts, like, before you hit Walt Disney and you progress through that whole line. Or is that, that might be season three. This is in the, we're talking about the documentary spe specifically. They, he has seasons. He does seasons of uh, whatever he For releases. like the video stuff too? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I, I don't, I wouldn't know. I want to say it, that's either season two or season three. I know season three is not completed, 
But I know there's like there's a lot there's not just Disney content. There's also like Universal. He's done like. Hey, he not does like all the parks. I mean, he does a lot of theme parks, parks either too, right? Hasn't he done other stuff? Was he one of the guys who did like the one of the Nickelodeon hotels or something? Oh yeah, he's yeah. done ho- yeah. the Nick- yeah he's done some of the hotels and stuff. But like that's a really good source to like mm-hmm. just start getting down and dirty. Totally. Um, if you're interested in Disney history and you want like more of a cleaner version, like yeah, it's a little more positive. If you look at um, what's the documentary from Disney Plus that what's her face did? Uh, I of uh, iWork's daughter Lisa Linda. Alice. I, no, I that's works? Abigail, and that no. is Disney. No, I I don't know. What documentary is this? It was. A, uh, did we watch it together? Six part. Yeah. Oh, I did tried we watch to get together? you to watch it. I don't know if you. Was it the Imagineering did. one? The Imagineering ah. story. Yes, beautifully done. Um, it goes through like it even shows a little bit of the ups and downs, which is not as common with Disney. Usually, they just kind of showcase like I know. Yeah. Behind the attraction is their more recent stuff. And I really feel like it's just an advertisement the whole time. Yeah, I liked. I think I do recall about the Imagineering one, where it's like they gave they gave you like the really cool parts of it, but also they were really honest about the like it wasn't all good all the mm-hmm. time. Like there were some really bad moments too. Like I think the part that hit me the most was what the Imagineering like team was was when after Walt died. It was mm-hmm. not good. It was sad, and they kept pushing through they it kept, despite all yeah. that that environment. There was a lot of like push through. There was a lot of pushback. They started cutting costs. They started like being forced into like smaller and smaller and smaller groups because they would just cut people from the company because like half of the company was like well you guys don't matter that much and the other half of the company was like well we need to keep you around just in case and Mm -hmm. it wasn't like the best environment but they were still like well we want to innovate um i think i'm trying to think of any other like bigger ones if you like costume history so like disney dan does a lot of costume history so like where they started which Mickey Mouse's first appearance in the parks was an ice capade costume, which is terrifying. So you ice can have fun. Capade? The ice capades. The that was Disney. That was Mickey Mouse's first appearance mm-hmm. on ice. Yeah, they used oh, to that's do terrifying. separate. Stuff. No, oh my god, you should see the pit. No, because I remember seeing. Oh my god, wait. I gotta yeah. So the what they used the, to do uh, for uh, ice skating is they would cut pieces out of the costume in order to see more because you're ice skating. You need that visualization. Um, put it in. Put it for nineteen. 19- um mm-hmm. 1960 1955 1955. 1955 that's the opening of disney 1955. Right? Mm-hmm. images yeah so like if you look at all the way down in that corner this one over this one that here? one oh my goodness that is the original mickey mark from mickey mouse from the parks isn't that mickey such... i am very happy to say that you've come a long way since then. isn't that such a beautiful picture like that's oh, what you yeah. first saw this is someone's love child someone's brain child here so he's like this this is amazing this is but you see like the progression he's really good with progressions he shows you like where they started and how they come i just hit the oh it's okay it's just a moment okay. <laughs> but like that that was the first mickey miles that mm-hmm. was in the parks Interesting. And you said Disney Dan does a lot of that uh, costuming. Yeah, that's like, Disney um, Dan. Like puppetry stuff. I'm try- yeah, he was actually, he went to school for um, performance. And so he did puppetry. He was in theater. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a riot, but yeah, there's a lot on that. Um, I, I, I distinctly recall as Anna watches Disney Dan, the laughs that I hear across the uh, across the apartment. He has a very distinctive laugh. It's very it. distinct and it travels well. He's got quite the voice. Yeah. Um, and then I think the last one that I would probably recommend is... Uh, he doesn't do any new videos. He hasn't done it in a while, but um, Midway to Mania, Midway to Main Street. Yeah. I thought um, it was Midway Mania. No, it's different? Midway to Main Street. Okay. I just looked it up. But um, I'm only piecing what I. It used have to be Rob order. plays. Uh, he would do like very intricately, almost like highly detailed things on like the most minute things. So like how how long would it take to mow all the land in Disney? It's like. What? Why would you? Why? Or like questions um, that people want to know the answers to, but never thought to ask. Yeah, basically. So there was a lot of that. Or like, why does Disney water have a very distinct smell? Um, how much? Uh, I think it was like how much energy Disney would need, or wh- what kind of taxes they would have to pay every year. Uh, stuff like like I'm that's really dry stuff. But he also has some history. Like uh, Disney almost had a hostile takeover. I think in the 70s I and so he had like that. a six part series all like 10 to 20 minutes each on like this what happened and where it started and how royal disney was like petitioning i think this was the son or nephew of roy disney like the original like walt's brother mm-hmm. but he tried he tried to like basically stage his own 
like save Disney campaign, it, which really divided things. The funny part is he thought like Disney World, Disney is more based in the production company. So what he was gonna do was buy everything, the productions community, and sell off the Disney parks in order to save the production company, the animation studios and everything, which is such an interesting concept. Like then what would happen to the parks? Where would we have been if that even worked? So like, it's, it's fun. There's a and lot And you said there. this was Midway to Mania who did that? Uh, right? Midway to Main Street. Mid Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. So like he did those kind of things, like smaller, they're very small videos. I think the longest one is probably like 15 minutes, honestly. <laughs> and like they're really Digestible quick. content. Yeah, it's Unlike like really this. cute, like, oh yeah, yeah, what's going on? Oh, look at that. Um, but those are my recommendations. What about what about the guy? I, I don't like the guy, I, but I know he's only one I guy. I wouldn't recommend it. You wouldn't, wouldn't recommend it? No. Wh which which one was that though? I know personally, I don't like this guy. I don't like his voice. He's so um, I, I do sometimes. get a lot of detail, but I have to double check a lot of it from uh, W. Oh my god. You forgetting? It's not DSNY newscast, right? Oh my god, he's my update man. He has all the information. He checks so check everything. He is amazing. If you want updates on any content, what Disney's coming out with, 100%. I totally forgot him. DSNY oh my newscast. God. I love him. That's that where guy. I started. Um, he's the guy who says Walton Ears, right? Yeah, Walton yeah, Ears. Yeah. The people that believe in the, like uh, the what uh, what Walt's original plans were, like edu uh, like education, uh, fun adventure land innovation stuff like that that's what a waltoneer is to him mm -hmm. and so love that nice. no but it's um walt disney world newscast i think or walt news... disney world newscast is I the think. is the dude who i don't like I, there's just one guy on there i don't like i feel like i just i hear his voice and it comes out negative but i'm sure yeah, uh, walt disney world news so wdw news um so they have a track record they have like a weird relationship with disney in the sense of like disney gets really upset with them they pr they predict a lot of things and a lot of them are kind of right and some of them are like really off so it's a very that's like, a way to make a business it's a love hate really it's Ooh. really like disney doesn't like them i got that impression these are the ones that call out disney specifically they do a lot of like there is a lot of negative um there are some negative shit feelings and usually it's very warranted because they'll point out like this small thing they're like uh, I think the bigger thing is like they report everything. So like Florida, uh, Florida newscasts, uh, Florida criminal records are actually public. So like when something happens in Disney, they report about it. Like there's been a lot of fist fights in the last Whoa. year, and they report like so all like, of this information. There's actually some spicy info that gets there's, shared yeah. with WDW So like newscast. they do, they do do that. Um, if yeah. you want something that is 100% honest and you can trust it, I don't think they're always there. And sometimes it is more opinion versus like actual everything else going on. But they do report every minute detail. So like if there is a new ball. ice cream cone out. They will tell you about it. They new will popcorn buckets? New Be popcorn honest. buckets? They oh, got man. it. Like, they have every minute detail. If there is a shift in pricing for anything, they will tell you all of it. Like, that's why I like them, because they have everything. Um, but I if get, you're looking I, I for, do that's like, if you're that. really in detail, and that's like, you want to know every single thing that's going on, yeah, go check them out. That's great. If you want, like, a broad thing, or you're like, I just want to know what Disney's planning next, I would say DSNY Newscast. If you want to know the history, defunct plan, park ride history or jester world and then if you want to just see costumes like disney dan those are my recommendations well we'll stop there there's too many i can I keep going remember, on there's before, so many before this stream started anna's doing like a, she she's a very she's a very generous person and she does a lot of like giving gifts exchange online whether it was like through reddit yeah. gifts and stuff like that and i think she was just putting together uh, her most recent giving like, gifts is given, the given new one. dot gifts right yes given not gifts that's yeah. the new one since reddit gift uh oh, yeah. shut down because Reddit didn't want to mm -hmm. for them anymore. But so I know Very Anna sad. was putting together her wish list for an upcoming exchange, and I just saw like a bunch of different links on there and all the different, because I think it's Disney related, I guess? No, okay, so or, it's, so <laughs> let me talk about. It's so whimsical, right? So it's their one year anniversary. They started last year in September, and so their first ever exchange was Whimsical Day. And so Whimsical Day is basically whatever your whim is, whatever f fits your fancy kind of thing. And so, uh, you know, D23 just happened. I'm really hyped on Disney and I keep telling myself I really want to support these creators and I love Disney stuff and then I'm like oh I got this so mm -hmm. I'm like typing it in I'm like oh yeah these are my favorite youtubers this is what I want to support like this is where and I literally listed out the top 10 it was like oh my god I have 10 I have over There's 10 so many of these of people you that I would favorites. love to support just can't pick through all of them yeah but so like I did that and I found all their um, websites which some of them were a lot harder to find because they have some older content they have some newer content and they all have merch naturally mm -hmm. yeah actually 
Uh, what are I like Disney Dan's shirts. Hard? Oh my god, I love like the shirts. Yeah. I love it. This very, very funny. Beautiful. Oh, you mean the actual shirt? They well, they have the, the no. He's also like a whole bunch of different like punny shirts and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he has a joke shirt thing. The yeah. one I put on there was the old logo that he has for Distory because I think it's cute and I like that a lot better. And I don't want some of the punny shirts as much, so I was like, let me just go. Some here. of them are a little, little potentially fell humor. I don't know. I think my favorite video of his is actually like he goes through all the shirts that people wear to Disney nowadays. Now nowadays, so anything from like I pooped in Disney to like uh, she wants the D. Um, the Disney D. Yeah. So like there's there's a lot of that, and he literally starts. He's like, let's start clean, and he starts and he goes through everything, and he's like, let me describe the people that wear this in my own opinions, and it is I think the funniest thing I've watched in a while because it's like, like there's been there were some shirts that I didn't realize existed, and he's like, yeah. People wear this and I have to question why are you wearing this to a theme park with kids like what do you want out of this are you what 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 is your goal and it's just I'm like I never thought about what I wear sometimes when I'm going to these theme parks like everyone yeah, sees me sometimes you gotta notice like people are looking around they're like oh how do I dress in Disney like I better look to the Disney people to see whether that's from Dapper Dan's to I pooped in Disney today. Like, this is just the wear of the denizens of Disney. I mean, some people Disney bound. And it was like, yeah, this is mm -hmm. awesome. So, you know, you have a whole nine yards. We totally went off topic. From there, There is a whole entire section of my life now since beginning to date Anna over almost, you know, eight years or so ago that has just been completely Disney-centric and stuff. And whether or not I like it, like, the mouse is here to stay. I mean, I have, like, two... So we have a... Look at all this Disney part? paraphernalia. Like, Anna, Anna. Actually, oh, I literally came out and I was like, I have to pull out all my should, Disney stuff. And so here. I diversified things. You should come back here so we can do a proper ending screen send-off together. We've got oh, so I, many different things that we oh got my God, here. My friend made me that one and it's so it. cute oh, oh my god there's okay. so many different oh my god if there's any sort of interest of like the kind of disney paraphernalia that we have in this apartment here it's gotten bigger so far so we have a much bigger collection than what we did previously but uh yeah you can you should you should totally come back here no we'll have, back, we'll back here, back here. Yeah, if you lean forward the light will be on yeah in any case, this. Oh yeah, feel free to move the the blender out of the way. I have to you don't be need in that. the face spot, right? In any case, well, thank you everybody. This has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, this was something. Uh, honestly, this was kind of a whim. We just wanted to talk about things. Just I, you know, I feel like Anna doesn't get enough screen time, so this was this was our I'm opportunity to put her up here on the stage while she's in the midst of her own like graduate work and stuff like that. And it was. I think this was fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. This was a lot of fun. I get to talk about these things. Most people are like, oh, what's the I... Disney update? And then I like, I get to say like one or two words about each thing. And they're like, oh, that's so cool. And then we move on. I feel like I don't get to, I, I feel like I personally, like I, just, just because of the way like life is right now, I often tone things out and whatnot. And when you're going on your Disney tangents and whatnot, I really don't feel like I give it the enough tension, but I was really, really happy to be able to like kind of put that up on center stage yeah. today. It wasn't me. You did it. You didn't do it all the work. So I, I mean, I, that, but. I, there's still some parts of this con like this convention. I still haven't gone through. I have not gone through the mas masquerade. I need to look at these costumes and see what did people do? How is it? Like what? Like, oh my God, it's beautiful. And then there's other like it's not all it's not all news some of it's just celebration things like i know two years ago they celebrated the goofy movie by bringing out the voice actors by bringing out like a whole they had an hour-long segment dedicated to the goofy movie that would have like been a, amazing like a panel or like this a was panel. a panel like, like an hour-long panel wow. on the goofy movie like just celebrating that's a it. pretty good movie but like you have stuff like that you have like putting together the disney archives like that's a whole another panel and i would love to see some of these things yes i would love to be there for the parks uh panel and like seeing all the new updates and that's really cool to be in the moment and seeing all of it totally. but there are other like there are other parts of it like tv shows and um, I think they had one on women's fashion for Disney this year. Um, they've had like princesses and they have like a whole like hour to two hours on like all the princesses and you had like some of the voice actresses come back and they would talk and they would sing. Uh, you have different performances. You have like little pop-up things from what it looked like in the expo center. And like, there's just, there's just so much to do. And it's a whole event dedicated to Disney, which is a huge part of my life because it is magical and it, definitely gives joy to a lot of people and i like being part of that when people smile that's my favorite part of life so disney makes me smile which is a huge thing you smiling makes me smile oftentimes and then sometimes it's just plain annoying but that's just how life is it's just a great thing well, in any case, to everybody who is out there who decided to join us for this evening, we greatly appreciate you. If you aren't smiling yet, then what is, what's going on? 
It's okay. Just, 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 just fake it for a little bit. Smiles That's are horrible. contagious. Don't tell them to fake. Smiles it. are contagious. Just I mean, like, that, actually, what you can do is you put a pencil in your mouth and you bite it, and that actually triggers. So, like, smiling will trigger dopamine in your head because. What do I do? I don't know. This is not a pencil. It's a marker. So please don't bite down too hard. It forces you to smile. Uh huh. It right? forces you to activate the muscles that will smile, and that will send dopamine to your brain. After about like five minutes, you should, like at least like you like at max five minutes, it starts to increase smile. the dopamine. So even if you don't want to smile, you can just just don't break the pen, please. Don't force yourself to smile today and feel like a dog, like this. <laughs> In any case, to everybody, young or old, either you like Disney or not, that's totally okay. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening, if it's the evening where you are. If it's the sun is shining over there, then I hope it's a lovely shining day for you all as well. In any case, we'll be back with another cocktail bar thing next Wednesday night, and if any of you are totally, totally into this whole just talking about whatever thing, I know I like to talk to my dearest. If you like me talking to my dearest, and my dearest talking try. to me, we can try this again. This could be really fun. It was, honestly, I had a I had a blast. So yeah, this was pretty cool. Better cut it. I learned a lot too. I learned yeah. a lot too. And we made some Dole Whip recipe. Will be uh. down in the description of the YouTube video that comes out after this, and maybe on Instagram if I ever get my ass together, and get that figured out. And in any case, to everybody, no matter where you are, day, night, midnight, twilight, no matter where you are, evening, evening, afternoon, it evening now, afternoon. Oh yes, sunrise, sunset, sunset. <laughs> Swiftly through the years. Yeah. What? what? It's a, it's a reference. Okay. So long to everybody. Party on. Until Bye -bye. next time, everybody. Bye.